Hello, quick intro, I kind of forgot to do that. I hope you're well. Welcome to the video. Today, Sumeru's out. Let's get you into me discovering it. We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna open a Pokemon pack now. I'm super excited to get into the story. Let's go. We got the most Sumeru Pokemon of them all, Hoppip. Then we got a Swablu, Zorua, a Cryogonal, didn't even know, Petalil, also a very cute Sumeru Pokemon, a Hippodon, big boy, kind of like the ones we saw earlier, Seismitoth, also a big boy from Sumeru. This is very Sumeru-like, a Psychic Energy, Rubber Gloves, Floet, cute, a boost shake, and that's it. Not a great pack, I'll tell you. But, you know what's great? Sumeru, and we're there. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what else to say, guys. Welcome to Sumeru. Let's make it a great year. Alright, let's go. What I wanted to do is take a guess on how big it's gonna be, and then second is place a ping, and the closest thing to our ping will be our scenic chest for when I explore Sumeru. So let's first determine how big I think it's gonna be. It's probably gonna start like under the chasm here. I have no idea. This is my get. This is my drawing line, and it has a little dent here. For no reason, it has a little dent. Okay, <laughs> that's gonna go all the way loop around. If I feel like it has to connect the water here, no? Wait, is there a nation north as well? Okay, then we go here. Is that- is- how- how big is that? That's like not even Mondstadt size. There's no way! It's gotta be bigger than Mondstadt. This- this is it. Whoa! This chest is mad scenic though. <laughs> Where'd my pin go? Whoa! This chest is mighty fancy! Wowzers! Fancy chest! Here will be our favorite rock. Fave rock mining away. Imagine it's not even in Suru, that'd be the funniest thing. But we got the backup mining away pin, so anyway, there's my guesses. Okay, let's get- Oh, we're, we got a good sight. Okay, look at that. Tomorrow they'll be different, maybe. Probably not, honestly. Okay, well, uh, I guess it's time to Ronaldo straight into Sumeru. I'll be morning voice, and uh, yeah, the patch will be out, so... Uh, Ronaldo! Yeah. Whoa, how's it going? What the heck? Sumeru's here. This doesn't look as exciting as I wanted it to. Is there anything up here, even? There's a Hilatro. Oh my god, a Hilatro. Berries. I love berries. <laughs> How big is it? Oh, my shape wasn't that bad. Actually, that's kind of exciting. Where'd artif- oh here. Artifacts almost in the chasm still. Whoa, that looks so pretty. Apparently about these two characters that are on the banner, we're gonna be able to get them for free. Well, one of them, and the other one will be on standard. It'd be a waste to pool. Oh, that's pretty. Tainari and Kole. Cool. Dharma Forest, that's pretty. What the f*** are you? I hate it! Go to the land of the Dendro Archon. <laughs> oh, that's exciting. And we're going to do one ten pool. I hope it's not orange anyway. I think that's purple. I can't tell. Nah. Fishel. Oh, that's it, huh? This is official. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not walking around as fish. Let's get into it. Whoa. Whoa, what are you? They're big turtles. <laughs> Wait, are you turtle or bear? What are you? Oh, what a, oh, the golden apple stuff. Yeah, on hold who cares, man. Bro, did you see that little pig? It's so cute. The hunt starts. <gasps> no. Did I get him? Yes! I caught our friend. Look at him. He's so cute. What are more enemies? This is so cool. What are you guys? You look like the thing from Avatar. Ang or something? No, that's the bald guy. I don't know. Gotcha. <laughs> They're not very strong, huh? It's actually so cool. There's a big one over there. Oh my. Whoa. There's so many of these things around here. I don't want to punch them. They're kind of cute. Oh, what's this? Sumeru Rose. Hell yeah. Four Leaf Sigil. I'm so excited. I want to be Dendro Lumine. Actually, let's make a party. Hey, what's this? The names are here now. You can make more teams? Oh my god. Team standing by. Sumeru. <laughs> I don't know I got switched to it. Just what will we come across this time? Sumeru. I'm going in the wrong way, guys. Not very scenic. Alright, let's get the story started. Continue through the forest. Alright, here we go. This is a pretty entrance to the place. Let's go. Story. Oh, look! That's now the Dendro Archon. Sumeru. Our next objective Sumeru. should be to head to Sumeru City and find a way to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Well, I butchered the pronunciation of Sumeru all my life. <laughs> and speaking of Lesser Lord Kusanali, even though we haven't heard too much about her, she doesn't seem to be the same deity who abducted your brother. Right. But even so, people call Sumeru the Nation of Wisdom, you know? Mm hmm. I do know. If we can get a chance Ironically. to meet the God of Wisdom, maybe she can give us some useful information! Sounds like a plan. But, uh, Paimon doesn't know the way to Sumeru City. Maybe we can climb up to that spot with the Statue of the Seven uh -huh. on it. Uh -huh. That'll give us a way better view of things. Sure. 
Even if we can't see exactly where the city is, at least we'll be able to check for some smaller settlements nearby. Of course. That didn't exist prior to this. Oh. Hello. Wait a second. Look! There's someone up ahead! Okay. I'm interested. Sucrose's mom. Actually, Sucrose's mom. Perfect timing! <laughs> now we can just ask for directions rather than wander around like lost adventurers. Yeah, well that is what we are. Hey there! <laughs> oh. We're not from around here. Doesn't and care. Seem to have gotten a little lost. We'd like to ask for some directions. You're you're going for it even though she's gone. Huh? Uh did they not hear Paimon? I don't know. Hey! You over there! Could you give us some direction? Who are you to talk to me? Huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, she's high on some What's mushroom spores. There's the no way she could have missed that. Oh, wait, could she be ignoring us? Nah. How dare she? It's probably nothing to be worked up about. Maybe there's a reason she ignored us. Well, even so, she might be heading someplace no. where we could find other people. No, not ask. a stealth bit. Let's keep our distance and follow her. Not the stealth when we get bit. The chance, we'll just ask someone else for directions. No, 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 no. <laughs> Through mists of smoke and forests dark. Let's go. Come on, let's follow her. Just keep quiet. Make sure okay, it's she not still. I'll do my best. All right, let's go. Whoa. What? Do you? I think they're hinting at they want me to get the Kara's child. Whoa, that is cool. I got an achievement for pressing T. Let's go. Oh my God! What the? That bird. So exotic. <laughs> okay, so, do I have to activate it? Anyway, super cool waterfall in the background. Also, this is fitting because... I don't know if it can become Dendro now? Avidya Forest. Exploration progress? Zero. Hey, let's go. That's a video right there. That's a video. Oh, actually, it's one big video. I am scared. This is massive. This is gonna be twice the length of the Liwa. Oh! <laughs> They're cute. What were those? I don't know. Do you see them? I did see them. That's a world quest instantly. So can I resonate? Yes. We're Dendro. Cute heart. I don't know what Dendro Traveler does at all. The essence of Flora. Oh, oh. Yo, Dendro Traveler finally? I did not really like Electro, so I'm excited to see the new one. Propagate. Okay, that's cool. I mean, I'm gonna have to put the EM build on again, definitely. That looks pretty Sumeru City to me. Yep. Where are my pins? Here's my mining away. <laughs> I had a few that were up. Oh wait, they're way higher. <laughs> this isn't even sewer anymore. Wowzer, scenic. Well, I guess I can stay until that region comes out. Bro, nothing changed up here. That's kind of crazy. What kind of gear am I on? Oh, this background is so pretty. Why is EM not a big box anymore? That looks so weird now. Ah, oh, my stats look even worse than I remember. Perfect. Let's go. This looks cool, this entrance. This is so pretty. Let's go take a closer look. Whoops. I don't know. I thought we were done. I thought this cave would lead to a village or something. But, mm. uh, it looks like that's not the case. Is that a dream catcher? Look, she's sitting over there. Wait, she couldn't possibly be living here, could she? Of course she could. Uh, what should we do now? Do we try asking her for directions again? Yeah, let's give it another shot. I feel like that's fair. All right, then. It's not like we have anyone else we can ask. Even if she's not very friendly, we just need her to point us in the right direction. Well, she's definitely like meditating or something. Oh. Mm. And now we're crazy too. What a lovely smell. I told you, the mushrooms. <laughs> this is definitely not your typical place to call home, but at least it smells nice. Mm -hmm. mm. Maybe living here wouldn't be too bad after all. I don't really like smells and stuff. Oh. Oh. Ah, this is a brother flashback what? moment. What's the matter? You don't look too good. Something's not right. What? Is the smell making you feel sick? Paimon doesn't feel anything. We're being trapped. I've got to get out of here. <laughs> uh. I think I'm gonna pass out. I'm dead, guys. Story's over. Thanks for watching. What's happening, Traveler? This is no time for a nap. You think I'm napping? Come on. No way. We wake up in a cage. Dendro Archon, whoa, <laughs> whoa, oh my god, follow the voice, I don't even have an interface, I'm so immersed, can I ruin the immersion, oh, let's go, <laughs> if it 
first you don't succeed. Well, didn't succeed. This is pretty crazy, alright. It is a bit choppy though. It says keep following the voice. I didn't hear a voice. Oh, here we go again. Really? Oh. Ender Arca? World forget me. Hmm. Maybe we need to keep that in mind for the future. The cow agrees. Now I'm dead. Yes, you can relax. Believe me, oh. Master is extremely Kole? knowledgeable. If Kole. he says that she's going to Kole. be alright, then there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm surprised I remember her name. Wait, is it Kole? Oh, are you awake now? You're pretty. I like it. It's like Dendro got you. Oh, thank goodness, Traveler, you're finally awake. Yeah, knocked out. Where am I? Well, Dendro where City. Uh, good question. Sumeru. Where are we? Hyman was in such a panic when you passed out that she even forgot oh, to ask what place this is. It's the, it's the from the cutscene with the Fatui from the video. This is Gandarverville. It was originally of built by scholars from Sumeru as a place to rest in the rainforest. Mm -hmm. Now it's mainly used by the forest rangers as a base of operations. I love this aesthetic. It's so elven. I love it. My name is Kale. What did she? I'm a trainee forest ranger. My master and I found you passed out during What's our patrol, happening? so we brought you here. Thanks for the help, Kole. Oh, no, no things are necessary. Yes, they are. I didn't do anything, really. Well... By the way, how are you feeling now? Any discomfort? No, I seem to be fine, except this bitter taste in my mouth, and what the hell, where is there an earthquake? That's definitely the medicine. Oh, <laughs> that's Master's herbal medicine you're tasting. Mm -hmm. He gave you some while you were unconscious. Nice, this is also really cool. Ah, uh, before I forget, Master mentioned you should take more medicine once you wake up. Oh, lovely. Chug, chug, chug. Her design is cool. I like the cloak and everything. Kole. Uh, whoops. <laughs> uh, Kole is not a great actress, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> oh. Kale, what's the matter? <laughs> Were you trying to retrieve the medicine? <laughs> As I've already told you, you must be careful with these. All right. I'll get it for you once I'm finished here. We got some exotic eyes out here. Master. This is literally like Sucrose Albedo relation. <sighs> now, the guide to Avidya Forest's edible fungi is clearly posted on our bulletin board. But if Farbode forgets which mushrooms to avoid one more time, <gasps> I'll have no choice but to leave the guide somewhere a little more visible. <laughs> like right smack on his forehead so others can remind him to be careful. Whoa, that's mad toxic. Uh, that's what was shaking the screen. Fat right? thunder. This is the second time he's come down with food poisoning this month. I'll be sure to give him a good talking to. He needs more than that. Yes, please do. If, on the off chance, Farbode simply enjoys having little imaginary <laughs> fairies dance before his eyes, I told you we'll just let him be. What? But the next time he requires any of our medicine, be sure to charge him accordingly. Ah, I told you, getting high off the mushrooms. It's another tail boy. So, how are you doing? Feeling better? Yeah, I'm pretty good. I love your aquarium. I love the aesthetic of your place. I love everything here. I'm gonna design my teapot around this. Oh, this is my master, Forest Watcher Tainari. Mm -hmm. He is chief officer over all the rangers here in Gondarverville. Cool. I already informed Paimon about the reason you fell unconscious earlier. Oh. But now that you're awake, let me explain it for you as well. Gladly. It is common practice for Sumeru scholars of certain Darshans to dedicate themselves Darshans, to training and meditation in isolated areas. Right. Particularly the nearby forests. Totally meditating. While meditating, they use a certain incense known as spirit borneol to help calm their minds as they enter a state of deep rumination. Yeah, okay. In hopes of asking directions, you two followed a scholar named Hapasia into her cave. Uh -huh. The incense you smelled inside was the spirit borneol I just mentioned. Uh, I figured. That incense typically has no effect on most people, but for a very select few, it can have profound effects on one's cognition. Yeah. As you experienced firsthand, does that make sense? Yeah, can you explain any slower, please? I love it. Yeah. Very good. Now. Answer me this. Did you feel anything after passing out? Say, any out-of-body experiences? Or did you see anything while unconscious? Yes, but I probably shouldn't tell you because you're fake. Oh. 
<laughs> I like how we just have good faith in everyone. Well, yeah, here you go, dude. All my info. Here's my credit card number and the code in the back. All right, let the others know to stop bringing their patrol logs here for now. Oh. Huh? Wh why? Ooh, this guy knows more. Because these two will be staying here for the next few days. They can have my room and I'll bunk with Amir. Now get a move on and be sure to do as I've said. He is kind of nice. Yes, so far. Master Tainari. He probably will be nice because he's playable. Although Child is playable. Child's not nice. Maybe he's bad. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on a second. Um, can you tell us what's going on? We're being held hostage. Sure. Let me fill you in. I originally planned to send you on your way once you finished your medicine. Okay. However, it appears now that you should stay a while longer in Gundarvaville for hmm. further observation while you recuperate. Hmm. I think you want to hear more about my stories. Further observation? But we need to get to Sumeru City. No need to be hasty. Well, as long as you have the capacity to judge between right and wrong, I promise that you'll understand the gravity oh. of the situation once I explain everything to you. Okay. Based on what you saw after smelling the incense and losing consciousness, we can conclude that you experienced a powerful hallucination, mm -hmm. which suggests your mental state is not in the best of shape. I've been stressed out for two years straight, and people keep telling me to, like, go pop balloons on a desert island, you know? What do you want me to do? People think this is a game. I'm looking for my fam. That's a Dodoko bomb. Oh, are you okay? No, nope, I'm You're dead again. You're experiencing a similar sensation as when you passed out, aren't you? How funny, Tainari. So even though I'm your dying. condition is stable as of now, if I were to haphazardly let you leave, it's highly likely oh. that you'd suddenly pass out again somewhere else. I get what he's saying. Never mind. He is nice. The rainforest I'm too is home everyone. to many fierce animals and hazardous areas. Uh -huh. If something were to happen to you again, I'm afraid you might not be so lucky. Oh, wow, I'm so lucky. Thank you. For now, I suggest you continue taking your medicine each day and avoid wandering off on your own. Mm -hmm. Deal. At least until you stop having adverse reactions to this kind of smell, okay? But will I ever be immune to it? It's just going to keep happening, no? Even if I heal. Good. Now continue resting while I fire up another bowl of medicine for you. This sounds super cozy in this nice room. Thunder, <sighs> prepare soup Seriously? for us. We just arrived in Sumeru and we're already having problems left and right. Well, I think we only had a problem left. We passed out. That's it. Paimon knows we're set on meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali Lesser as soon as Lord. possible, but you really don't look too good. I look great. It'd probably be best to let you recover first. Fine. I've never noticed this. Does this happen with every flower? Also, little buds in the flower change colors depending on what element you are. Uh, hey, <coughs> are you even listening to Paimon? No, I'm, I'm sad. Over here worrying about you, you know. I feel it's a little weird. What's weird? You mean how you're feeling now? Yeah, my body does feel a little weird. But what I mean is, I don't think what I saw were hallucinations. You mean? The vision of tree roots and red skies you saw? Uh huh. But if those weren't hallucinations, my brother's what experience. Could they be? I'm not sure. When I saw the vision, it felt as if I was standing deep underground. But the red sky, could it have been Conria? Well, Ooh. considering how unique you are, Paimon trusts your judgment here. <laughs> but why didn't you say anything about it to Tainari? How you think we're gonna trust everybody? Why is the medicine still on the floor? Someone pick it up. If you misjudge your condition, then there's a chance. I don't think that's the case. He probably wasn't telling us the truth. Wait, I was right to be sus? Huh. Huh? You mean that Tainari already knows that what you saw weren't hallucinations? That's probably why he wants to Wait, keep us as well. If that's the case, why would he try to hide that from us? I don't know. We need to get to the bottom of this. Oh, Paimon gets it now. That explains why you were so quiet earlier. No, that was because I was passed out. Well, that settles it then. We'll stay here to rest up and figure out what's going on with your hallucinations. Okay. But it seems like asking Kainari might not be an option anymore. Kole. What do you think we should do? There you go. Let's start by having a chat with Kole. Good idea. Kole's pretty friendly. We can ask her tomorrow about what she knows regarding the Dendro Archon and customs in Sumeru. Bro, this is a, f this f a zoom out into Fade, and we're going to see Tainari, who has radar ears, can hear us from across the map. He's heard everything we said, so you get a night of rest. There's no way Tainari hasn't heard what we just discussed. Rise by the way, shine. rise and shine. For us, a change complete. Further observation. Find Kole. This is exciting. <laughs> that 
That's a very cool mechanic, and I love it. First time hearing your footsteps. Hello, goodbye. <laughs> I like that they added new haircuts for old people. You know, it's a small detail, but I do like it. I do wish on the map it was a bit darker. This just kind of looks like the extension of you and now. This could have been like a very nice dark green, like I just edited on your screen. All right. All right. Next, let's see your right hand. Hmm. Yes. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. But please Told remember you, child. that you still need to be careful. Understand? What does she do? Oh my god, it's a talking squirrel from the Golden Map Archipelago. Maybe not. Okay, definitely not. He is crazy. <laughs> <sighs> yes, I will. By the way, Master, I still haven't received the patrol route for today. Look, Kale, today's patrol will be a long one, so you won't be coming along this time. Whoa. Besides, there's a chance we may encounter... Well, you understand. Fatubi. Treasure hoarders. Yo, we get to interrogate Kole, though. Also, why he look like he wearing some kind of hoodie? This isn't 2022. But I have a vision, too! <laughs> useless to everyone now? Not to me, Kale. You're very useful in my heart. Don't talk like that, Kale. This is not something you need to be worrying about right now. <laughs> ah, there you are. Feeling any better? I feel like this guy has the communication skills of a potato, honestly. I mean, we got Peter Pan over here. Is there something I can help with? Yeah, since we'll be staying here for now, we thought we might as well try lending a hand around here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Seems you're not the type to sit back and take it easy for a while, huh? No. In that case, perhaps Kale could take you two for a yes. patrol south of Gundarvaville for the day. Perfect. And if you're feeling up to it, you can be responsible for cleaning the Statue of the Seven. But I'm Dendro, I can't clean, I'm not an animal anymore. Okay, so Fontaine is the place of Hydra, right? Because it's Fountain? How many statues, or how much cleaning do you think we're gonna have to do in Fontaine because of Anna or Dendro? Frick. Hydro Traveler. Tenari, we're ready to head out. Peter Pan's ready. Right. Oh, that is Amir. I'll be right there. All right, we'll be heading into the forest now. I'll leave any further details to Kale. Okay. Yes, you can count on me. Thanks. So, Kale, what exactly are we going to be doing today? Patrolling. Tenari mentioned cleaning the statue just now, but, uh, that doesn't really sound like the job for a ranger. He's being overprotective of Kale because of her history. Bet. Well, a forest ranger's responsibilities can be pretty diverse. She sounds a lot like someone else in the game, though. They handle a variety of tasks, like checking the condition of outlying roads, maintaining forest facilities, ensuring fire prevention standards are met, and providing assistance to travelers and locals. Sounds boring. <laughs> As for Master, well, <laughs> he has to handle more dangerous areas of the rainforest. Ah, oh, that's what I like. Today we can perform routine checks on the pathway lamps. As we wow. make our way to the Statue of the Seven. That sounds great. I'm excited. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Traveler, this way. Okay, further observation. You can leave the task of checking the lamps to me. Oh. In the meantime, you two can keep an eye out for anything unusual. Sure. Dude, here we go. They are little travel Nothing packing wrong with buddies. These two lamps. Let's move to the next ones. Look at how cute this thing is. Hey, buddy. That's why I didn't punch them. I'm sure they're good. All right, I'll check this lamp, I guess. Oh. This lamp seems to be getting a little wobbly. Let me make a note of it. Got the red-tailed lizard. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Hmm, no problems with this lamp. Good. Love it. You gonna show me the easy way up? Oh, no, I wanted to grab everything. The statue of the Seven is up on top of that large rock formation. I know. You must have seen it when you came down this road before. Can you not see I'm Dendro? I resonated with it, Kole. It's pretty high up there, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Don't worry. If you're afraid you can't make it up there, I'm sure Master wouldn't mind if you don't clean the statue. Well, Pama can fly, but apparently no need to worry. I'm a terrific climber. Shouldn't be a problem. Oh? I guess I'll leave it up to you then. Mm-hmm. There's not much footing once you reach the statue, so be careful up there. I'm gonna die. Fly up with you and help you with those hard-to-reach areas. Paimon? Um, not being the lazy? Way, Kale, do you know anything about the Dendro Archon? You know, what's she like? Uh, I don't know. that depends. Are you referring to Greater Lord Rukudavata or Lesser Lord Kusanali? Rukudavata or Kusanali? I have no idea. Probably Kusanali? Huh? Greater Lord Rukudavata? Yeah, well, you kept saying Lesser Lord. Of course there'd be someone above. Oh, is that the name of the former Dendro Archon? Uh-huh. Oh. Greater Lord Rukudavata was Sumeru's first Dendro Archon. She created the rainforest as well mm. as the Wall of Samiel around the desert. Okay. Her works provided a means of peaceful living for everyone. Cute. To the people of Sumeru, she's not only a symbol of wisdom, but also of power and kindness. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, she disappeared in a great calamity that occurred hmm. a few hundred years ago. Yeah, sounds exactly like what happened to Raiden Makoto. Does it coincide with Kanria? A 
According to what Master has told me, the Sages later found the newly born Dendro Archon and whisked her back to Sumeru. Okay. To celebrate the reinstatement of their lost deity, the Sages dubbed her Lesser Lord Kusanali and Why led her lesser? inside in the sanctuary of Sarasana. That sounds so, like, negative. Uh-huh. Then what happened? Then what? Well, and then... Uh, I'm not too sure what happened, to be honest. <laughs> it's kind of, like, super young. I'm not too sure? But aren't you from Sumeru? Yeah, I'm from Sumeru. Uh, She's being kept in the but... shadow from a bunch of things. Probably for her own safety. Maybe it's difficult to discuss this topic with strangers. If that's the case, then don't worry, we understand. But we're no strangers to love. Look, I got the dendro, I'm not a stranger, No, Come no, on. it's not that. I'm not trying to hide something from you. Hmm. Besides, I don't consider you two strangers. That's weird. I'm the honorary knight of Mondstadt. A anyway, y you two know Amber, right? Oh. Wait, Amber? You mean... Amber? <laughs> Outrider of the Knights of Favonius? The avid glider from Mondstadt? Yes, that's her. I once lived in Mondstadt for a while, and she helped me a lot during that time. You could even say that she helped me become a new person. Cute. There's no one like Amber. She lives it's life true. to the fullest while always adhering to her strong <laughs> sense of justice. She's ready to answer the call for action at any moment, but is also very understanding of others. She's like the spark that lights the fire in everyone's heart around her. Wow, you really are fond of Amber, huh? If you ask me... She's a prime example of a true outrider. She's the first person anyone coming to Mondstadt will meet. Uh -huh. You can't help that is but be true. enthralled by her charm and enthusiasm, oh. causing you to fall in love with the lands of Mondstadt and... And? <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We've never seen the sighting. We've known her for like 15 hours. <laughs> but to one thing's for sure, yeah. you really like Amber. Definitely. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I was rambling on just now. Really, were you? It must have sounded kind of weird. No, it was fine. It was cute. <laughs> it's alright, Kale. Knowing that you're a friend of Amber somehow makes Paimon suddenly feel a lot closer to you. So, how do you know that we've met Amber? Well, Amber has told her about us. Well, after I returned to Sumeru, Amber and I have stayed in touch by writing each other letters. Of course. In one letter, she mentioned that Mondstadt was attacked by a fearsome dragon, but the city was saved by a mysterious blonde traveler and their floating companion. That must be us. The one she mentioned in the letter the moment I saw you, but, uh, considering everything you've been through that day, I thought it'd be inappropriate to bring it up. Trust me, we've been through a lot more after that. Ah, so that's how you knew! Come on, that was obvious. Yep, so please know that you two have my complete trust. Really? That's that I makes more sense. That's kind of fair. I wish I could tell you more about the Dendro Archon, but I have been away from Sumeru for some time, and I haven't read any books. Sorry. And no one's That's kept her right. up to date. You've already helped us a lot. We had never even heard of Greater Lord Ruka Devata or the Sanctuary of Surathana until you mentioned them. As if you'd remember that. Paimon's informed by some upper god. There's no way she'd remember that. Oh, I'm happy that was helpful. Nice. There is one thing I want to ask, though. Mm-hmm. Why do you two want to know about the Dendro Archon? Long story short, need my brother, got a wisdom, probably knows something. <laughs> there you go. That was a good recap. Hmm. So that's She sounded like here. the iPhone too. Thank you for telling me your story. Hmm. Don't I can't it. do it. We are Morning friends voice. after all, right? Paimon's right. We're friends. <laughs> all right. We have a statue to clean. That's true. You both have my thanks. Well, you two are up there cleaning. I'll go ahead Don't do and it. inspect the forest canopy. No. Let's meet back here shortly. She's gonna die. It's over. We're gonna get blamed. Oh, can we talk more? Uh, I'm not a very good climber. <laughs> so I'll just let you handle the statue. Sure. I'll go check the facilities up ahead. Mm -hmm. By the way, once we're done with our work here, would you like to chat some more? Yes. Yes, actually. I like this mechanic, except it's killing our wrist, definitely, in Sumeru. So you can teleport to them as long as you see them. Which is really cool, but also it means you gotta like shake your wrist like an absolute mad person. Oh. Huh. Now that Paimon looks at it, the deity that's carved on the statue is kinda small. I noticed it earlier as well. I thought it was funny. Sure, whatever. You might be right. The statue does look kinda old. But it's the tiny one. Well, Maybe anyway, they just we'll both tiny. That out later. Sure. 
Let's get started on cleaning the statue. No. Paimon will fly up and take care of the top, and you clean everything below. Paimon's never been this willing to help. Meticulously clean the statue. Nice That's going to help us in the long That's run. One clean statue. Yep. Let's head down and meet up with Colin. <laughs> no, definitely. Cleaning the statue will be like, they'll be like, oh, you cleaned my statue. Thank you so much. And then we get a favor. You must be tired after all that climbing. I didn't really Let's do much of that. Break. I brought some fruit and water for us. That's so cute. Yay, food! What kind of goodies did you bring? Show some restraint, Paimon. Hey, don't be a party pooper. It's I'll not poop like any party. Is a stranger or anything. I don't care. Besides, the best way to compliment a chef is to show passion for their food. Xiangling <sighs> taught Paimon that. That's who she kind of sounds like. I prepared a nice portable dish that forest rangers like to eat called Pita Pockets. Pita Pockets? You like them. That sounds amazing. Uh, you what, think it's your specialty? What? You didn't drop them again, did you? Uh, oh, no. You dropped it on the ground! <laughs> it looks like a rock, man. I get it, though. Pita. That is nice. Paimon eats off the floor. It's fine. Not to worry. I wrapped a few layers of oiled paper around each pita. They should be fine. Nice and greasy. Oh, I'm nearly had a heart attack there. Yeah, of course you would. And you will, too, from this grease. <laughs> Those pitas are amazing! You're quite the cook, Kale. Alright, cooking passive. Got it. Thank goodness you wrapped them in paper. I'm not wouldn't have been able to sleep at night knowing something so tasty had been wasted. Well, you wouldn't have tasted it, so... <laughs> you really know how to compliment the chef, Paimon. The music's kind of pretty, though. Since you liked it so much, I'll be sure to give you a copy of the recipe sometime. Yes. I'll even include all my personal cooking pointers. Whoa. So you'll be making your own pita pockets in no time. That's great. Yay! Thanks, Kale! It's hard to believe someone as diligent as you could have clumsy moments, too. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> uh, I guess it happens from time to time. So, uh, Kale, don't you think that Tainari is a little too strict with you? He won't let you touch anything without his permission. Paimon knocks stuff over all the time flying around the Traveler, but <laughs> she's never said anything. <laughs> Everyone has their clumsy moments. <laughs> Why <laughs> I cross my arms? No, no, you've got the wrong idea about Master. Uh, sure, he may seem a bit harsh at first, but with some time, you'll see that he's actually very kind-hearted. Not sure, I believe it. I've heard the veteran rangers say that Master is from some ancient and mysterious race that is known for their cunning wit and reclusive nature. I saw those ears. Oh, by the way, you've heard of the Academia, right? Yeah. Well, there's a group called, uh, Mambu... Something? <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Well, anyway, because Master does a lot of research on plants, sages from the Academia have written him many times, inviting him to take up an official position there. Cool, but he always refused. But Master declines their offers every time, yep. saying, Sumeru City is too noisy. It'd be bad for my ears. That's fair. That makes sense. That does look like something Tenari would say. Speaking of his ears, I really like to pet them. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? We've always wanted to pet them, too. <laughs> uh, of course. Alright, we, we need to go meme angle. It seems they've put a lot of effort into them. That's funny. Anyway, Master could have easily left the rainforest to take up a position at the Academia. But he chose to stay here instead as a forest watcher. Helping the locals every day and passing on his knowledge to trainees. Okay, that is, that is nice. But also at the same time, his ears. In fact... Master's the one who taught me how to make pita pockets. Of course. Really? Paimon would have never guessed that. Oh, speaking of Tainari, he was the one who took care of you after finding you passed out yesterday. <laughs> he even carried you all the way here. And now we're going to be like, oh, now I feel bad for being sus of him. Paimon's still kind of upset, though. He kept scolding Paimon the entire way here. <laughs> what do you do? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Master might have been overreacting a little. That sounds really funny, though. But, uh, it's mostly because Paimon wouldn't stop yelling, Why, oh why? Is she going to die? <laughs> it probably started to get under Master's skin after a while. That's funny. Hey! Don't laugh! <laughs> Paimon was genuinely concerned about you. You were acting again. I know it. You're so fake. <laughs> 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 hey! Now even Kali's starting to laugh. I uh, call it. She's actually kind of cute. Okay, hit us with it. Uh. No! Don't touch me! <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Oh. Oh god, no. Oh no. 
What's up, Kale? Oh, sorry, Kale. Paimon didn't mean to scare you. Uh, no, I, I just... I, I didn't mean that. Yeah. Kale, are you okay? What's the matter? No, uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm fine. I'm sorry. I must have startled you both reacting like that. Definitely. Well, I think I know because people told me there is like a Genshin manga or something. I think there's lore about this in there. We might hear it in this story eventually though. What was up with Kali just now? And why is she in such a hurry all of a sudden? Look, she's practically running back. Well... Paimon can't even see her now. <laughs> You're kind of pushing it. Yeah, I won't talk about it. <laughs> Further observation, return to Gundharp Harbor Harborfield. Who's this now? You're new. You weren't here a second ago. Darina. Oh, traveling merchant. Are you gonna sell me anything? You're a traveling merchant. What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? Saying this cracks me up. Thanks, haha. Lucky Doug thing. Wow. I'm home. Hey. Ah, traveler. You've returned. Hey, Nasrin. Dude, Nasrin? You're like my counterpart. Yep, we're back. Nasio, Nasrin. Uh, have you seen Kale by any chance? Have you? Oh, Kale? Mm hmm. Yes. I saw her go into her room just a moment ago. Okay. Oh, okay. Guess we'll just have to wait and talk to her tomorrow then. Yeah. Clearly you've messed up Paimon. Can I not go sleep? See, this is a moment where I wish you could actually click a bed. That would be cool. You ever get asked like a rough question and you're like, um... <laughs> it's weird to see the Jade Chamber from here. It feels like we're so far away. <sighs> Paimon was thinking all night about what happened with Pale. Go see her. Chronic illness. What the problem might be. Man. Maybe she's in a better mood now. Let's go check on her. All I know is that you're making me feel bad already. Hey, Tainari. Ah, it's you two. Yeah. I was just about to go look for you. It's cool. We find you first. We win. Huh? Tainari? What are you doing here? Where's Kale? She fled. I came to check on Kale's condition. To put it simply, she's not well. A condition? Oh, yeah. You mean yeah, she's yeah. sick? How could she be... Oh, wait a minute. Could it be because of what Paimon did yesterday? Yeah, you spit on her face. No, no oh. need to worry. Something as small as you could never harm her. Uh, this sickness is something that Kale has been dealing with for some time. Maybe this is where we hear it. Kale has been more excited than usual since you two arrived. Uh. A little too much so, to be honest. She hasn't remembered to take care of herself. No. I suppose it's understandable, though. She hasn't been around anyone she considered a friend for some time now. Right. It must have been refreshing for her to have you two here. Yeah. So, Tainari, what's really wrong with Kale? He's gonna be like, that's for her to tell you. Um, let's take this conversation elsewhere. Kale just fell asleep wow. after taking her medicine. He's just she needs tell some us? peace and quiet. Let's hear it. All right, let's continue our conversation here, shall we? She's gonna spy on us. To be honest, I hadn't realized that you're that honorary hey. knight from Mondstadt until hey. Kale told me just now. Don't worry. I've also heard all about your deeds in Liyue and Inazuma. Yeah, I can imagine with those big ears, you hear everything. <laughs> so, just to clarify, what I'm about to tell you about Kale is not because of who you are or your past feats. Instead, I am going to tell you because... She's your friend. Well, because Kale asked me to. Oh, well that helps. And honestly speaking, I was against Kale revealing her past to you. Okay. But, she insisted. Saying you two treated her with sincerity and as a friend. So now she wishes to reciprocate the gesture. I'm gonna start sobbing. So Tainari, what exactly is wrong with Kale? You said this is something she's been dealing with for some time. Just how serious is it? Ever since she was a child, she's been afflicted with a disease called Elazar. Okay. Elazar? Elazar. Yes. It's a disease unique to the lands of Sumeru. It is characterized by dark and hardened scales that form on the body. She's becoming a dragon. <laughs> At first, the afflicted may only feel mild numbness on the affected area of the skin. Okay. However, as the disease progresses, one may begin feeling fatigued and even experience peripheral paresthesia. Okay. In its final stages, the disease strips a person of the ability to control their own body, and they effectively become completely immobile. It's like Cassiopeia's curse. That sounds terrifying. They'll lose all control over their body? Wait, hold on. So when Kale seemed to be acting a little uh... clumsy earlier, it was because... Right. 
Correct. That would be the effects of Elazar, which is precisely why I do not want her carrying or holding anything. Yeah. Lest she ends up hurting herself. That makes sense. Is there any cure? With appropriate treatment, the disease can be effectively controlled before it progresses to a more serious stage. Right. However, there is unfortunately still no true cure for Elazar. Got it. Nevertheless, Kale's mother still hoped that there was something out there. She handed Kale over to an organization yeah. known as the Fatui after one of their members lied and said they had a cure. Of course. What? The Fatui? Yeah. Ah, it appears you are already familiar with them. Mm-hmm. That'll save me some explanation. Yeah, this is what I this is what I heard, I think. Anyway, the person who eventually rescued Kale and brought her to me for care said that she had been given to a harbinger known as the Doctor. Yep. I have no idea how this doctor managed to do it, but her case of Elazar was completely stable for all the years that Kale was with them. Oh. However, Kale's days with the Fatui were anything but pleasant. Yeah, I've heard this part. Kale is a resilient individual and always tries to appear cheerful, but her experience with the Fatui has left deep scars. Even now, yeah. she can still feel deathly afraid of someone touching her. Rough. No idea Kale's been through so much suffering. Oh, by the way, Paimon, Kale wanted me to tell you <laughs> that she's sorry for scaring you yesterday. I feel so bad. She also wanted both of you to know that she's sorry for hiding her illness. She doesn't have to. She doesn't need to apologize. Yeah. None of this is her fault at all. No. Well said. I hope you'll get a chance to tell her that in person the next time you see her. Of course. Kale once thought that it would be impossible for her to have any real friendships. I trust that you two will never let my trainee experience such emotional pain again. Why are you being- you're putting so much pressure on me! Now we have a new side quest and we have to come back to Sumeru every few days to play with Kole. Otherwise, he gets mad at us and hunts us for the rest of the game. Don't worry, Kainari. <laughs> we'll take good care of her! How's Kole's condition now? Well, it's not too serious at this point. She overexerted herself the last couple of days, which is what led to her breakdown this time. Okay. As long as she has taken her medicine and gets plenty of rest, she should get better. Sure. Though, I must admit that Kale's condition was much more stable when she first arrived here in Gundarvaville. Right. She was interested in the work of the forest rangers the moment she saw us. Uh. I could see that she was serious about learning, so I felt compelled to ask her to join us. Yeah. Her stamina has gotten much worse recently. Though a moderate amount of physical exercise is always necessary, I'm afraid the long-distance patrols are a little too much for her now. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Now that I've told you about Kale's past, I think I'll head into the rainforest to find some ingredients needed for her Ooh. medicine. I'll see you two later. Wait. Can we come along? You must follow closely and listen to every instruction. I will. No problemo. No problemo. Let's go then. We'll be looking for a plant known as Lunar Lotus. It's often used to help those afflicted with Elazar recover their energy. We got a little text above it again. Someone told me what this meant, but I forget. Hey, Tainari? Let's go. Where exactly are we going to find this That's plant? Far. This is pretty. Lunar Lotus can be found all over the rainforest, <laughs> it again. but it often grows right here around Gundarvaville. Given the name, it sounds like we should be looking for it in the water. Just like this fish for chop suey. You are correct, which is not a rose, completely <laughs> contrary to its name. Right. Whoa, that green is so dark. Um, okay, then. <laughs> okay, then. Never bring up the topic of flowers with Kainari. Hey, I love about the reaction. It dropped a little ball. Bloom, dendrochores, and they explode. That's cool. We got some spicy music already. Do -do 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 -do. There should be lunar lotuses growing somewhere in this area. Let's split up and begin searching. Okay. If you could manage to gather four of them, that would be sufficient. Sure. We'll rendezvous here once you've gathered the needed amount. What are you gonna do? Stand here and twist his thumbs. Bro. <laughs> yeah, I see them. One, two, three, four, right. and five. Lunar Let's head back and to six. I got some extras. Hey, Tainari! We found the lotuses you requested. We did. Let me take a look. Hmm. Good, very good. These are all excellent quality. I had some spares. I took away the two worst ones. Don't worry about it. I'm quite glad you two came along. Your exploration experience helped save me a lot of time here. You just didn't have it to get your clothes wet. It seems we even have enough time to stock up on some other things I need. Okay, maybe that's true. That's nice. Hey, Tainari! Hey, Amir. And, uh, Nasio. Oh, Tainari! Someone's calling your name! 
They're dressed like a forest ranger. Uh huh. Ah, yes, that's Amir and the others. But didn't they just set off not too long ago? What are they doing back so early? Ran into trouble. Let's sit here and contemplate the many options. Let's go find out what's going on. Seems like a good idea. Well, we actually get to walk over. Gameplay. What's up? Tainari, thank goodness we found you here. We were just about to head back and find you at Gandarmaville. But... What's going on? Discovered a withering zone. No way. The withering is back? But the patrol route you were on should have been already clear just a week ago. It reappeared so quickly. Can you tell me the exact location? No. It's up ahead, deep in the river clue. valley. It's appeared in a spot that blocks nearly the entire narrow part of the valley area. So we decided to come find you as quickly as possible. And the radius of the contamination? Sorry, I couldn't get a clear enough view to tell. No Man. one in our patrol team had a vision, and it appeared to still be spreading. So we didn't risk getting any closer. I'm going. Okay, I understand. You made the right decision. I'll go deal with it right away. In the meantime, no. please guide these two back to Gondarvaville. Take us with you. Wait! Kainari, why don't you let us help you? Please. You two have only just arrived in Sumeru. You're still unfamiliar with many things in these lands. I am the honorary knight. Don't talk to me like that. There's a unique type of anomaly that occurs in the Sumeru rainforest. It's called the withering. Yeah, we heard that. The affected areas not only cause nearby vegetation to wither, but it's also lethal to wildlife and even people. If you don't carry a vision, then you should think twice before approaching such places. But I do, kinda. Look at me, I'm Dendro. Yes, Amir is absolutely right. I wasn't kidding when I said the rainforest is a dangerous place. Yeah, well, I'm a bad bit. <laughs> As Amir said, only someone with a vision, that is, the power to manipulate elements, will be able to resist the withering's corrosive effects. Well, I don't for a have time. no vision, but I can manipulate elements easily. That's right. If any of the forest rangers without a vision come across a withering zone, we first make a record of the location and then have a ranger with the proper abilities deal with it, like Tainari here. That's going to be an exploration, isn't it? Only Those someone zones. with a vision can venture within a withering zone and find a way to deal with it. Might be able to help with this. I can also control the elements. But you don't seem to carry a vision. I'm crazy like that. Don't worry. She may not have a vision, but she's a real pro at using the power of the elements. It's true. It seems the rumors about you are true. In that case, <laughs> all right, you two may accompany me. Okay. We typically only teach visitors how to identify the withering as they're about to leave Gundarvaville. We'll make an exception today and show you what it looks like up close. Why wouldn't you tell me early? Let's go. Go to the withering zone. I feel like there should be a cutscene, but it won't Stop. be. Stop. Don't move any further. Hammer time. Look there in the distance. Okay. I'm looking to see. Oh my god, is that a subscribe button? I'm sorry. Huh? Where? Oh, look! Those plants have withered! That whole area is kind of gloomy. Even the air looks like it's filled with ash. It definitely does. Oh, Paimon doesn't like the look of this. We're in it. Look. That is the withering. The wither. All right, Traveler. We're going to have to enter that withering zone. Once inside, we'll need to look for what we call tumors of the withering. Of course. If we eliminate those, then the area will be saved. Gotcha. Let's do this. Thank you. But I must warn you, don't push yourself. This is your first time handling this sort of thing, after all. Mm -hmm. Even with elemental powers, once you step inside the withering zone, you may experience extreme discomfort. Sure. If at any point it becomes too much, return outside of the zone and take a breather. Okay. It could become a matter of this life This is going to be a freezing bar, just like dragon spine plus i have much experience with tumors now because i did a long quest everyone's favorite in inazuma you ready then let's go let's go i'm going in ow ow <laughs> ow why would you do that stop do i have to kill things oh look at my bars i have two little bars what was that collect underground and attack the withering branches i don't have a dendrogron anymore give me Great work. Now Thanks. that all the branches have been cleared, we'll need to take oh, care whoa. of the tumors. The what? The tumors? Quietly now. Destroy the tumors oh. of the withering. No. Destroy the tumors. Oh, you just press it. Boom. Cleansed it. That's really cool. That is actually that's going to be exploration. Definitely. Returning to normal now. Lovely. Yes. Thanks to you two, we were able to quickly restore this area back to normal. That is so cool. Um, Tainari. You make it sound like we did well, but why does Paimon have the feeling you're worried about something? Because it came back out of nowhere. 
It's that obvious, huh? All right, it's like this. Recently, the rate at which the withering zone appears has been increasing. Yeah. Even though we were able to quickly clear that withering zone, it won't be long before another one appears. Don't worry, I'll clear them as soon as I see them. Promise. Pinky promise. If that simply meant war work for me, then that wouldn't be an issue. But it's far more severe than that. The withering is leaving lasting effects on the rainforest itself. Yeah. For instance, even though we cleared out the withering zone, many of the plants that were affected will not recover. Right. This presents a crisis for the ecosystem itself. Of course. Many plants in the rainforest are already in decline, directly impacting the wildlife that depends on those plants. Sure. And most disturbingly, as the appearances of withering zones have started to increase, uh -huh. Kale's case of Elazar has also become more serious. Well, that has to be related then. Huh? Well, why is that? I'm still not sure of the exact reason. Right. However, I've received word from acquaintances at the academia that similar cases are being reported for patients with other conditions. Interesting. Is there no way to permanently get rid of the withering? No, none that we know of. We'll find a source. The withering has been recorded in Sumeru for millennia. It's said that it originates from the depths of the world. Ley lines. By the way, have you heard of Ermansol before? Absolutely not. Ermansol is a tree located deep beneath the surface, although it isn't like any oh. tree we know in a biological sense. You can basically think of it as a large tree that grows downwards rather than upwards. Okay, I like this. I'm sure you've heard of ley lines, right? Hey. They're like the roots of Ermansol, uh -huh. spreading and extending from a massive cavern deep underground Figured. all the way up to the surface. I knew it. Spreading and extending, a massive cavern. Sounds a lot like what I saw when I lost consciousness in the cave. It's true. Ley lines continually absorb the memories of this world, mm -hmm. which are then funneled into Ermin's soul. I know. Allowing it to collect knowledge and wisdom from ancient times to present day. Egg taught us this already. The Dendro Archon is known as the God of Wisdom because her consciousness is directly connected to it. What? It is also said that the Dendro Archon's power is a manifestation of Ermin's soul. That's insane. And as for the withering, its emergence is related to a disease that's affecting it. You mean Ermansol is sick? That's right. My ancestors learned of this from Greater Lord Ruka Devata's familiars a long time ago. Okay. But even those mysterious creatures did not know of a cure for Ermansol. This is spicy. This is what a good lore. I'm afraid we rangers will be battling the withering zones here for a long time until a cure is found. Okay, makes All sense. Right. That's enough on this topic for the time being. Now that we've taken care of things here, it's time for us to head back to Gondarvaville. Sure. That is very interesting. I wonder if we're gonna get to cure the tree at all, or even get to see it during this questline. It might be like the, the apex, honestly, like the very end of the Sumeru questline. Because that feels like a big deal. 169. Yeah, I'm teleporting. Is it weird? Does my plunge look different because I'm Kazuha? Yeah, Lumina's a different icon. This is so pretty as well. Look at this for a background. We've made it back to Gondarvaville. Oh, Tainari, you all made it back. How did it go? It's a piece of cake. The withering zone you reported has been taken care of. No need to worry. Wait, is that? Hey, I saw one of these. <laughs> oh no, Hapasia! Oh, what? What's huh? up? What's wrong, Tainari? What is wrong? This Duskbird is Hapasia's designated courier for urgent news. Oh. You do remember her, don't you? Look at She's it. the scholar you and Paimon were following when you first arrived in Sumeru. Oh, I don't want to save her. She was mean. <laughs> oh, her? How could we forget? <laughs> uh, so did something happen? Well, I don't know. Is there a message? Let me see what's written in the letter first. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> this is oh. dumb. Uh. So what's it say? And what's with that weird expression on your face? Uh, just let Paimon read it. <laughs> huh? Uh, all Paimon sees are three squiggly lines. Right. <sighs> yes. Secret message. Allow me to explain. After we brought you from Hapasia's cave to Gondarvaville, Hapasia resumed her meditation. Okay. She must have just finished. It's been nearly three days since she's had anything to eat. And it appears she's forgotten to prepare some rations. Oh my god. This letter is her asking us for help. What an idiot. We need to go. Sure. What? You mean she's been sitting there for three days? Yes. Hey, wait. How did you know all that from just a few lines on because she didn't even have the strength to write words. Well, obviously because this has happened before. Last time she drew five lines. <laughs> and by the time we found her... <clears throat> well, 
I prefer not to remember that. Okay. Needless to say, Paige has been through worse, but we should still get to her as quickly as possible. Sure. I've got some emergency rations set aside for times like these. Paimon, Traveler, could you two bring these to her? I'm gonna pass Wait, out again. Do you want us to bring her the rations? Uh, but will the Traveler be okay if her cave is still filled with that exactly. funny incense? Let's find out. Here, Traveler, take a smell and see. <sighs> so? How do you feel? Huh, it's a light and refreshing fragrance. No unusual feelings this time. Really? You're not feeling even a little drowsy? I have that permanently, but that's because of your voice. But wait, how'd you know that she'd be okay this time, Tainari? We never Back know for when sure. Back we were clearing the withering zone, I observed that she could adeptly manipulate the dendro element. Hey! I knew then that she would be fine. Hey! You think that's because I ch switched elements? Maybe that would have happened either way when you cleaned the statue, I don't know. And if I may ask, when I was telling you two about Ermin Soul's ley lines, was what I described similar at all to what you saw while you were unconscious? What I saw weren't hallucinations, were they? That's correct. Those weren't hallucinations at all, though I don't intend to apologize for deceiving you. That's it, I'm slicing you right off right now. Because what you saw is of significant importance. Not just for the nation of Sumeru, but the entire world of Tavat. So how does that make it that you can lie to me and not apologize after, huh? You tall-eared bean boy. Okay, I have to go get some breakfast. My forefathers were shown much favor by greater lord Ruka Devata. Right. We took an oath to protect this nation together with her. Now that that duty has fallen to me, it was part of my responsibilities to ascertain whether you could be entrusted with the fate of Sumeru. I feel like the Lesser Lord is going to, like, use a ley line at some point and show us the Greater Lord. Now, after seeing you in action with my own eyes, you have earned my confidence. Great. And I no longer feel the need to hide any secrets from you. Okay. So what exactly was it I saw? When you passed out, your consciousness had connected directly with Ermin's soul. Mm -hmm. What you witnessed were actually real memories contained within Ermin's soul itself. Yeah, I got that far. I could try to tell you more, but it would be better <sighs> if you went to ask Hapasia instead. Okay. Her focus on meditation and use of spirit borneol are aimed at establishing a connection with Ermin's soul, just as you did. Why, why, well, how about she just goes and visit, you know? Uh, that sounds nice and all, but will she really help us? Seriously, she completely ignored us. The last time we tried talking to her. He's like, she's my daughter, don't worry. She's always been like that. Don't worry about it. That was because when you ran into her, she was in a special phase of her training. During that time, she <laughs> must avoid communicating with others. Right. Please, wait here for a moment. I'm waiting. This man is standing here so suspiciously. Say something. Is he just eavesdropping? I'm standing here for a moment. Don't scock. Don't do it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> here. Take these. Thanks. It's a meal I packed for Hypatia. Great. As well as some other ingredients. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Awesome. Also, here's a letter that I would like you to give to her. Just show it to her and she'll answer any questions you may have. Thanks. No, I should be the one thanking you. You've both been a great help these last few days. Hey, you help me, I help you. Hypatia should still be in the cave. Right. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. I'm teleporting again. Lazy. Let's go inside and see how she's doing. You just said this, Paimon. Patient, young one. Patience. Achievement get. Hello? Hapatia? She's dead. Hey, and the incense not here. here. Hmm. Mm, maybe she went out to look for some food. Let's try looking around the area. Okay. Clatter. What was that? It sounds like it's coming from inside the cave. Oh, she's gone insane. She has become an animal. Shock. Jump scare. <laughs> it's Hypatia. Is she okay? She has food. She has plenty of food. Oh! Oh! It's the little Stardew Valley people. Stop walking towards it. Stop! Spy on it. <laughs> it looks like a bean from Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> Don't do this. Oh, we're gone again. I'm asleep, lads. Uh, dream world again? You all right? Uh, uh, so hungry. <laughs> Eat water. How is this something you'd say? We were just, she's dying. We're like, hmm, 
She somehow has more energy than I expected. She looks famished quick. There's no way we can get her to eat in her current condition. Let's try finding some water first. I have some holy water in my bag, actually. Huh? Wait. Why does it look super foggy outside all of a sudden? Hello, Bean Boy. Uh, anyway, let's go look around. Sure. Hello, Bean Boy. Oh, wow, it is very far. Whoa, we're in Dream World. Beanstalk place. Huh? How'd things out here end up looking like this? <laughs> Wh what happened? It's like Where we're tiny. We? We're playing grounded. Relax, Paimon. There must be a logical explanation for all this. Really? Oh, maybe you're right. Let's go investigate the area. Mm hmm. This is cool. It's very cool looking. Oh, I like it a lot. Door of Resurrection. Should I be worried? Oh. Chest. Wow, this place is huge and pretty. I knew there's something off about that cave. Who are these? Uh, let's think of a way to get over there and have a closer look. Dendro. Who knows? Maybe we'll I find bloom. a lead of some kind. Come here, come here. Oh my God, it's Diglett. Hey, you got Dendro. All right, I need to grab this because it's in an instance. At least I assume so. Yeah, I'm not on the map. Dendro sigil and a book. Whoa. Waterfall, crazy door, mushroom, bouncy mushroom in domains, tree lakshana creatures unknown, fascinating indeed, it opens doors, <laughs> boing, <laughs> this guy were cheesing, I did not realize there was so much to this, I kind of just cheesed it a little bit, what is this, primal rosin in domains, collect three to unlock the corresponding path, I got one, anything else, no, that's not what I meant to do, Oh, I slotted in. Okay. He's not one of those dream catchers. It makes sense if it's dream catchers, no? Oh. Alright. Of course. I am in outer space. And now we're inside an Inazuma domain. Cool. Milk. Keep looking for a path to the upper level of the tree hollow. Oh, I was. Hey, great. You think this water would make you, like, trip? <laughs> like, crazy. Alright. That's two pieces. Oh. Whoa. Cool. What's up, gang? Oh, I have my Dendro Burst. Get ready. First Dendro Burst ever. Whoa. Can you swirl Dendro? What is going on? Oh, let's go. Local potato. Local radish. Exquisite chest. And this thing's going to carry us up, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we're a cute little butterfly. Hey, listen. Oh, into the flower? Maybe. Oh, this is trippy. This does not make me feel good. Ugh. Ugh. Well, we're inside the flower now. And we get another bead. And this hurts. Ow. Yeah, it does. <laughs> How does one escape? Oh. I didn't notice the thing because of the pink. This is a cool mechanic. The traveling, it, like, is a lot more comfortable. Activate. A Space time again. Courtyard far down the corridor. What? Why Inazuma of all places? This place is getting weirder by the minute! <gasps> hey! What's the matter? You don't look so good! Do I not? I think I look fine. Oh, it's one of these. Bling! Investigate the corner on the other side. <laughs> what? What other side? What the? That is... Okay. I'm going in. Ah, uh, space time again. Go to the upper platform. T. I'm mashing T. Yeah, this is a really oh, who's that? A Fatui, I think. A Harold. Well, well, what? Well. Looks like we meet again, traveler. Hello there, pixelated Harold. You needn't worry about such things. They don't concern you. Really, no. Let's fight then. Oh, we're actually fighting. Let's go. Yo. I wonder what how Dendro does against Hydro Shields. Wind strike. I can't see, see it do very good. I have nothing for this guy's shield if Dendro doesn't do anything. But uh, guys, I'm literally doing nothing to his shield, by the way. Great. Okay, great. I think that was intentional. Huh? Why can't we beat this guy? Oh, Paimon doesn't get it! We faced others like him before! What's wrong this time? I don't know. We're in a dream. Though you may have managed to avert countless crises before, uh -huh. your good fortune was bound to end sooner or later. <laughs> it's time you realize how weak and powerless you really are. 
My journey will not end here. I must still find my brother. Our brother is with the abyss. Your brother. <laughs> oh, pitiful traveler. Mm -hmm. Are you really so ignorant? No denial. Or are you just living in complete denial? Definitely denial. His highness has long since forsaken <laughs> you. Your meager existence in his eyes is that of an annoying bug, only to be stepped upon. Mm. The bonds of love and family which drive you to find your sibling are utterly gone. Mm -hmm. Your journey is meaningless. Alright, time to just go hang out, I guess, with, uh, I don't know, Ning Wong. Start a bar with Beto, I don't know. But don't you fret now. Today will be your last. Now die! Who's gonna save us? Probably like Tainari. Who's like, you've been gone for so long. You also spaced out. Wake up. Snap out of it. There we go. Hey. What was that all just now? Strange. It feels like I was dreaming for a moment there. But I can't remember what I saw. Oh, I can. Hmm. Hey. What do we do? We haven't seen Hapatia anywhere out here. So you were... Okay. Oh, there she is. Quick, let's see how she's doing. If she says water again, then we do the loop again. <sighs> so sweet. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, the good news is that she's still conscious. Hey, why'd you drop her food on the floor like that? I uh, got clumsy. I think I got affected by the same illness as Cole has. Kind of zoned out for a second there. Uh, are you okay? That's really not like you. That's a lie. I zoned out plenty of times. It happened in the chasm, too. Whoa. Wait a sec. Look at all this fruit lying around her. Mm -hmm. We can put that to good use. Sure. You give him some water and fruit juice. Uh, who is there? Mm, it's me. Tainari, is that you? No. Uh, ah. Uh-huh. Wow, such a seducing stare. It's okay. You can relax, Hapatia. Tainari sent us here to bring you some food and water. Here, we have a letter that he asked us to give you. Yes, a proof of passage. You give a patient a letter from Tainari. Well, okay, we get it. Very scenic. Please move on. There you go. So, you're friends of Tainari. Mm -hmm. I apologize for all the trouble I've caused you. You know, I'll be the bigger person. I'll, I'll say it's okay, but it's really not. It was kind of messed up, hey, P. I'm grateful that you came so quickly to save me. Mm -hmm. You even brought all this fruit. Yeah, I didn't. That was the tiny bean, but sure. Uh, well, actually, we didn't bring the fruit. It was already here when we arrived. We were kind of wondering about that, actually. When we found you here, <laughs> there was all this fruit lying around and even some juice dripping from your lips. Uh, how did you end up like this anyway? Huh. Oh. Really? Yes. Hmm, I seem to understand now. All the fruit was likely from my, uh, neighbor. Right. Must have come by and saw me like this. Hey, P, you're an awful liar. Your neighbor? You mean there's someone else living nearby? <laughs> this is a little round creature. Kind of like a cabbage. Oh? So you're able to see them too? Yeah, I got crazy f messed up because of your incense. You like Peja and Palm on everything that happened after entering the cave. Second traveler, you say that before we arrived, you saw some mysterious creature and suddenly had a strange dream? Well, as we Isn't arrived. Isn't that a little too crazy to believe? Why wouldn't you believe me? You're a stupid floating baby. Like, hello? No, I actually do believe what the traveler is saying. Thank I you. I myself had a similar experience once before and ended up scaring my timid little neighbor here. Okay. You needn't worry. They mean you no harm. I know. They only dragged you into the dream because they hoped to buy themselves a little time in order to scurry away. Okay. So, Hapatia, just what kind of creature is your neighbor exactly? A bean. I'm not sure what it's called, to be honest. But I do know that they have some sort of deeper connection with the Dendro Archon. Oh, that is cool. She spaced out completely. Or mine's gonna die though. the first time I saw them was also the exact day my consciousness was able to form a connection with Ermin's soul. Okay. Oh, we're about to see one. Behind this leaf. Never mind. Even after I opened oh. my eyes and stopped meditating, my heart was still pounding, and my mind was racing with all the knowledge that I had touched. Okay. And at that very moment, I suddenly noticed a small figure at the <laughs> opening of the cave. Uh-huh. In my curiosity, 
I began to walk over to the creature. They must have already been used to me living in the cave, because they didn't seem to mind me approaching them. They just kept doing whatever they were up to. There's no way that's their face. It's like, that, that, that's, there's no way, that's a distraction. It wasn't until I crouched down next to them that they suddenly realized that I could see them. Ah. Oh, and then? Then dream and he fled. And then I had a dream. Yeah. By the time I came to, they were nowhere to be seen. Of course. I was convinced they'd never show up again. But sure enough, I saw them nearby a few days later, and they weren't alone. Whoa. I feel like they aren't as afraid of me as the first time I approached them. Sure. But I never would have expected them to save me. Fascinating creatures. Sounds like a great neighbor. Yes, no doubt about that. By the way, Tainari mentioned in his letter that you had questions for me regarding Ermansoul. Well, I don't know. He probably wanted me to ask things. I don't know anything. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Sounds like just drinking juice still isn't quite enough for my stomach. Then eat the meat. I mean, <laughs> eat the fruit meat. I, do you call it, in Dutch you call it vruchtvlees, which means the fruit meat, which just means the solid part of the fruit. <laughs> Whatever. Well, if somebody hadn't dropped the food earlier... It's still edible. <sighs> anyway, looks like we'll need to prepare oh. something ourselves. Besides, Hyman's getting hungry too. Let's eat first and talk about Ermansoul later. So you're asking right, me to cook, huh? Up, traveler. Today's menu will feature sweet madame and a radish veggie soup. Wow. You'll love them, Hatasia. They're our specialties after all. Sounds good. <laughs> I've never tried any dishes from other nations before. I certainly look forward to it. It's been so long since I've had a decent meal, too. To be honest, the last time had to be when Tainari came to visit. <laughs> You're a crazy lady. Let me cook you some. You got some, you got some, you got some cooking utensils over here? Of course you do. Oh, let's go. It's not lit, but I don't have to light it. You cook up some dishes over the fire. Loving it. All done! Let's use the empty box that Tainari gave us since we already watched it. You act like the ground here is the nastiest thing on planet Earth. It's literally just grass. It smells amazing. Mm -hmm. And the box is a nice touch too. Let's go serve this up and start eating with Hapasia. Useful. Useful dialogue. Big dialogue. Oh, that box does look cute, I'll be honest. But not as cute as me sitting on this little leaf, though. <laughs> Are you already finished cooking? Uh-huh. Mmm, smells delectable. Have a bite. I'm truly thankful whenever I can enjoy a proper meal like this. Cooking really isn't my forte. What is your forte? Here, I have this amazing cute little box. Food that you've specifically prepared for Hapasia. The box contains sweet madame and radish veggie soup. You hope Hapasia will like it. Hapasia. I don't remember how you pronounce it. How do you put soup in a box without a lid, though? Even though everything you mentioned was in Tainari's letter, it's still hard to believe you were able to connect with Ermansoul immediately after smelling spirit born eel for the first time. Look, I'm the honorary Nat of Mondstadt. I have more depth in this story than you do. You see, I'm the MC. <laughs> the most arrogant person in the world. With the fates, I'm intertwined with this world, you understand? So why does this incense allow people to connect to Ermansoul? I don't know. The ingredients used to make spirit born eel primarily consist of plants created by Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Okay. These special ingredients are conducive to heightening our senses to the Dendro Archon's power. Spicy. Since the root of the Dendro Archon's power lies within Ermansoul, we can occasionally tap into her powers to peer into the depths of the earth. I think I understand. Naturally, anyone who can establish a connection with Ermansoul in their first ever attempt must be a person of great understanding. Naturally. I like naturally is a very Sumer Sumeru term, right? I'm gonna have to get used to pronouncing it like that. Hmm. Makes sense. But Paimon's got a question. Why was she sensitive to the smell of those plants for such a long time? A long time? That was primarily due to her body's unique constitution. Okay. Stimulated by the incense, she could perceive the Dendro Archon's power and experience the sensory overload. Right. Hence the adverse reactions. Mm -hmm. Taking in any scent similar to the ingredients of Spirit Born Ale would cause adverse effects. Okay. Not to worry though. It appears you've already fully recovered. Yeah, I'm kind of a beast. Technically, your body should still be sensitive to the powers of the Dendro Archon. 
But unless you're using intentional meditation techniques, the scent of spirit borneo should no longer trigger such reactions. Okay. Well, Constitution's great then. Whew. Well, that's a relief. Sure. I must admit, I am quite envious of your abilities. All my Even abilities. If it and your looks. From pounding headaches and your smarts. For the rest of my life, your wits. <sighs> I'd consider it worthwhile so long as I could connect with Ermisol at will. Uh huh. Whoa. You're really serious about this whole thing, aren't you? Yeah, she's kind of nuts. <laughs> I am a researcher after all. <laughs> he just sits there, gets high off her ass all day for three years straight. I am a researcher, what can I say? <laughs> As a member of the Ritawe Starshan at the Academia, uh -huh. my main area hey. of research is the stars and their connection to the fate of living beings. Okay. But there is still Mona? so much we don't know, especially regarding the mysteries that lie in the starry skies. Sure. Which is why I must turn to the all-knowing Ermansoul for answers. Uh huh. If only my perception wasn't so limited. Unfortunately, I cannot guarantee that my every attempt to attune with Ermansoul will be successful, or that doing so will leave my consciousness intact. Sure. I am currently in the stage of training known as Satyavada Life. Many researchers in Sumeru have lost their minds <laughs> while seeking to attune with Ermansoul during this stage. And <laughs> no one was surprised. Sages have said that Ermansoul contains oh, okay. divine knowledge, and touching such knowledge without the proper preparations and abilities will only lead to one's mind caving in on itself. Uh huh. That's why we meditate alone. We need to ensure that our minds will be calm while minimizing the possibility of involving anyone else. Well, the little beans keep getting involved, though. Whoa! So knowledge from Ermansoul can be super dangerous! Aren't you afraid of the risk, Hathaja? Not at the cost of knowledge. Of course I do. Oh. Especially during nights that are pitch black with no moonlight. <gasps> and dead silent without even the sound of insects. Except for little beans. However, I've been feeling better mm -hmm. as of late. I don't get as scared anymore knowing that I have a little neighbor living nearby. But then you're not by yourself. I believe that being able to see them is a sort of blessing from the Dendro Archon. They're messengers for sure. But what's strangest of all is that they're clearly an envoy of the God of Wisdom herself. And they have the curious power to make people dream. What's so strange about that? It doesn't sound so out of place for a divine being, does it? No, I agree. Well, it's strange because nearly nobody in Sumeru can ever dream. Okay. Ah, huh. is that true? Oh, what would she say if it wasn't? Yes, well, to an extent. Only children can dream in Sumeru. Oh. Adults, however, never do. Ew, they lose all their creativity and become boring. The sages say that wisdom implies rationality. Hey, see, they are dream catchers. But that which occurs in dreams is often neither rational nor logical. Reminds me of that dream I saw from the R&R. It was a big, chaotic mess. Yes. If one struggles with anxieties, those emotions could influence their dreams. Yeah, of course. The fact that the people of Sumeru do not have dreams is seen as a blessing by the sages. Right. They believe that Greater Lord Ruka Devata, the God of Wisdom, is keeping us away from the foolish delusions you encounter in your sleep. Boring. I was born into a family of scholars in Sumeru City. Mm -hmm. Ever since I was a child, my parents would always tell me that I'll know I've grown up once I stop dreaming. Did you stop dreaming or you never stopped dreaming? You should never stop dreaming. Enrolled as a student in the academia, and went on to become a researcher. <sighs> sure enough, I never dreamed again. You don't seem so happy about that. But then, on the day I scared the little Aranara, I suddenly saw a dream again. Right. It was incredible. That count. Though I don't exactly remember what I saw, I clearly recall the feeling. I suddenly felt like I was a child again. <laughs> Back then, I was foolish and ignorant as any youth would be. But I was free of fear. Yeah. Maybe dreaming isn't as bad as we've made it out to be. Yeah, being a child definitely should be as nice as that. No worries. <clears throat> uh, just be sure not to speak of this if you travel to Sumeru City. They'll look at you as if you've lost your mind. Sure. So, do you have any thoughts about the things she saw when she connected with Ermansoul? Sorry. I'm afraid I don't have any answers as of now. All I can say is that what you saw is a memory contained within Ermin Soul itself. We knew this. Hmm. World forget. Hey. What could that possibly mean? I told you that might be important. Uh, if only I could ascend past Satyavada life and become down. Paripurna life. No. I might have some more answers for you. Yeah, but your anger is only gonna slow your process, young Padawan. Uh, 
If you two are ever in the area again, please be sure to come and see me. Will do, Happy. Thank you. We wish you luck in your endeavors. There's no need to be thanking me. You two are my saviors. Right. Besides, I'm already looking forward to tasting some more of your cooking. <laughs> yeah, we're never coming back. Goodbye. You can see chatting before settling down for a good night's rest. Do I actually wake up now in the morning? Now that we know oh. Hapasia is alright and had the chance to ask her some questions, uh -huh. Paimon thinks it's about time to head back to Gondarvaville. Yeah. Yo, hey, P. Heading out, I see? Uh-huh. If there's anything else you'd ever like to ask about, you know where to find me. Even though that look the end of your dream seemed quite terrifying. Yeah. Not to worry, though. Something is As definitely troubling me. Heading out, I see? Take care. Take care. I was gonna say take care. You can't steal my life. I say take care here. Back home we go, or I'll run. We're there, basically. Well, this is an interesting storyline so far. Definitely getting a ton of lore from the start. <laughs> I kind of get the involvement, but I do want it to spice up a bit because it is a bit slow. The traveling like this is so nice. You're able to make your way around the place so easily. Think about it, Tainari. Refusing to join is tantamount to burying your head in the sand. Oh my god, is there, are these the scholars again? Can you leave my man alone? I understand that you're a forest watcher and that it's your duty to combat the effects of withering zones. But isn't it evident that such work is not a lasting solution to the problem? Okay. But why would he research the stuff there instead of here? As Sage Kajay clearly stated, your presence and guidance in Sumeru City is pivotal in finding a cure for Ermansul. How could you possibly refuse? What's the difference? Keep your emotions in check, Gulam. Yes. Let's at least listen to Tainari's reason for declining. We're here to invite him to the Academia, not to cause a scene. I agree. What? This man looks like the craziest hipster I've ever seen. What's funny about this, keep your emotions in check. My dad told me this once. You have to be able to talk about your emotions without getting emotional. It's not easy, but it's definitely, I think, right and true. I think it's a very cool thing. Like, words of wisdom, you know? That could be said in Sumeru. Honored that you came here in person. <laughs> but I'm afraid I must still decline your invitation. <laughs> I am merely a forest watcher. How could the great minds of the Haravatat have any need of someone like me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, it turns out that your refusal letter had some implications on your master's reputation. He is a renowned sage of the Immorta, after all. So now I've come here in his stead. Okay. I see. Huh. And I figured that given his temper, he would come here and berate me personally. <laughs> Tainari. Your master is an integral part of this effort, and now he requires your assistance. I'm already sus of these people. And what exactly does my master need of me, Sage Kaje? Yeah. Um, You'll know I don't know. Once you've arrived in Sumero City, <laughs> that is. Yeah, you're so fake. And how long will I be required to stay? Yeah. Uh, there's no definite answer as of now. He's gonna go just to get him off his Do back. Do you mean to tell me that despite coming all the way here to Gondarvaville, <sighs> you still can't answer the questions I laid out in the letter to my master? <laughs> He's kinda pissed. I get it. Kinda feels like we're gonna accompany Tainari to Sumeru City. If that's the case, then I'm afraid I cannot give you a definite answer either. Ooh. Tainari, but you... Stop talking. Who are you? Stupid... Caesar wannabe? Uh, so be it. Come, Gulam, we're leaving. That's right, get out of my forest. <laughs> Why do you only talk to one of the three? What are you looking at, huh? Uh, Tainari, what was that all about? What do you mean? It's nothing. Some people from the academia wanted me to go to Sumeru City to assist them with a project. But I had to refuse on account of all my responsibilities here. Respectable. But all that can wait. How did things go with Hapasia? Ah, uh, pretty good. It was quite the eventful trip, but the main thing is that she's safe and sound. She answered a bunch of questions for us, too. A bunch? Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> I started recording at 7, and uh, I hadn't eaten anything. It's been three hours, so... Now I'm done. Very good. Now that the Traveler has made a full recovery... Oh. There shouldn't be any reason for you to tarry here longer. Okay. I assume you will be heading to Sumeru City, correct? Ah, I thought we were going to go together, actually. That's right! We want to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali and ask her for advice! Do you have any idea on how we can find her? Probably in the massive palace, you know? The one where the deity are? Sorry, I'm afraid I don't have any advice for you there. Hmm, maybe that would help, curing the tree. Well, do you at least know anyone we can try asking in Sumeru City? I have a contact. Let me think. 
Say it. My trips to Sumeru City have been fairly short, and most of my acquaintances are researchers. Except for, give me, give me one playable character. Who's our new contact in Sumeru City? How about this? I'll write you a letter of introduction that you can give to a researcher I know. Okay. He's from the Amorta Darshan and is adept at gathering information. Sure. Asking him might prove worthwhile. Okay. Also, when you enter Sumeru City, you'll probably end up receiving something like this item here. Okay. I'm not what? sure if it will ever come in handy for you, but maybe you can give it a try. What is the item? Oh, what is it? Yeah, what is it? It's called an Akasha Terminal. Okay. It's a tool produced a by computer. the Academia that utilizes the legacy of Greater Lord Ruka Devata. Some say that this very item is the basis of Sumeru's reputation as the City of Wisdom. Okay. Needless to say, this device and its usage fall under the Academia's expertise. So I'll leave it to them to show you how to use it. Okay. Great! Next up, Sumeru uh. City! Uh, oh, but before that... Why are you saying this so quietly? We need to say goodbye to Kole. That's right! Kainari, we have something important to say to Kale before we leave! Is she doing better now? Yes, she's doing much better. Great. After being confined to her bed all this time, I thought a little walk would do her some good. Last I saw her, she was taking the path towards the North Crossing. By herself? She knew you two would be leaving soon, so she must have wanted to see you off. Oh, that's cute. Thanks, Kainari. Alright, let's go! Alright. Farewell. And good luck to you both. Good luck to you too, man. Thank you for the warm welcome, and sorry of having been turbo sus of you. Kale is waiting at the northmost crossing of Gundarvaville. Okay. Farewell, Trap. Farewell. Kale, my queen. Hey, Kale. Ah, I've been waiting for you two. Hey. I, uh, well, uh, never mind. Tell me. I guess I should just wish you two a safe and successful journey. Sure. Thanks for waiting here just to see us off, Kale. We're headed to Sumeru City. Please take care of yourself, Kale. We'll be back soon to see you. Don't worry about me. I can take care of myself. My condition won't be getting in the way of my duties. I want to be a forest ranger after all. It's up to me and the others to protect the rainforest here. Sure. And uh, I'm sorry. You I should have, have told to you apologize both about for my this. condition when we first met. I just wanted you two to treat me as a normal friend, not some girl that needs your sympathy. That's very respectable. But I guess now I understand that the most important thing is for friends to be genuine with one another. There you go. There's no need to apologize, Kale. We should be thanking you for trusting us enough to be your friends and sharing your past with us. Sure. We're probably still gonna worry about your condition, <laughs> but that's because we're friends and we care about you. That is such that is such a nice way to put it. That I, I never know how to word this kind of stuff, but what she just said, that. Thank you. That means a lot. Uh, oh. Before you leave, I have something for you. What is it? Oh? What is it? It's my recipe for pita pops. <laughs> I told you that I'd give you a of copy, course. remember? My handwriting is a little uh, messy. So I'm gonna laugh. Please don't laugh. Haha. <laughs> Yay! Thanks, Kale. Now we can eat those scrumptious little pitas whenever and wherever we like. Uh huh. I hope that whenever you eat them, well, I have to you'll make both them. remember your time here in Gondarville. Of course we will. Well then, I, trainee forest ranger Kale, bid you both farewell. <laughs> Please visit Gondarville again. Uh huh. The rangers will always be ready to assist you here. Sounds great. Take care, Kole. There we go. Pizza pocket recipe as well. The trail to the god of wisdom, or of the god of wisdom. Go to Sumeru City. Well, uh, let's go on a walk. Did I change the world quest icon? It looks prettier for some reason. It's like brighter. I like it. I should have just taken the road. I'm gonna be climbing. It looks nice. I'm maybe a bit surprised. It feels so empty already for some reason. You see that little box right there? Okay, you definitely don't anymore. I've messed up completely. You see that little box right there? That's very scenic. I say that, I say nothing. Burb! It is actually a meat burb. Let's go. No more messaging for you. This is pretty. I like this walk up a lot. Sumeru kid! Minu! Hey Minu. Only kids who haven't grown up believe in stories about Aranara. About the Aranara. What kind of stories? Is that the beans? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Minu kind of cute. These birds are not like very scared. You can just walk up and punch them for your foul. That's for mobile players. Mobile players enjoy your foul. <laughs> hey, more happy Sumeru kids. I love Subaru. Woo, I also want to... Oh. That I ruined that one's fun. It's like, oh, it's weird now when a grown-up does it. <laughs> Watch this, though. Catch one of these. It doesn't work either. Thankfully. Here I am. Sumeru City. Oh. What do they all have, like, a glowing earpiece? 
You think that's the gift? Oh, the dog followed us. Into that's kind of cool. Oh, he's gone. We finally made it. That's pretty. Oh, did you see A this? fade? When those people entered the city, something on their heads lit up. Yeah, that's what I was saying. One moment, please, you two. Okay. It appears this is your first time visiting Sumeru City. Hmm, could you tell because I didn't have a thing on my ear? Oh, yeah, that's right. But how did you know that? You didn't have a thing on your ear. <laughs> because there's currently no information on either of you in the Akasha. Really? That's kind of weird, man. You're just being stalked when you come to this place? But no need to worry. That won't prevent you from entering the city. In fact, the Academia conveniently provides each traveler to Sumeru City with a device. Great. Perhaps you two have heard of the Akasha before. No. It's our beloved greater lord Rukadavata's lasting legacy. A treasure trove of collected knowledge. Wonderful. After centuries of tireless research on the Akasha, the Academia created one of its most ingenious inventions, the Akasha Terminal. So it actually is a computer. That's what I mean, terminal, you know. As long as you are within Sumeru's borders, you may use an Akasha terminal to connect Whoa. directly to the Akasha and access any knowledge you need. <laughs> That's really interesting. I should mention that due to technical limitations, the operation of Akasha terminals will be much smoother and more effective in large cities such as Sumeru City and Port Ormos. Okay. Oh, so this is the thing that Tainari was telling us about. It sounds so. pretty amazing. Yeah. You two are quite fortunate. Uh -huh. Until recently, it was standard practice to only issue Akasha terminals to outlanders who spent an extended amount of time in Sumeru. Oh, trust me. However, this policy was recently changed, and now all travelers are issued one upon arrival. They are. It's true. That is nice, but I would have gotten one either way. I don't think you understand. I'm the honorary knight of Moss. <laughs> Here are your Akasha terminals. Please handle them with care. Yeah, sure. How do you equip one? Oh, let's see it. Equip it? <laughs> It kind of looks like a leaf. Why is that funny? To activate it, Why did she simply laugh? hold it in your hand and say the following phrase oh, no. to yourself. <clears throat> May, the, May mighty the mighty God bless, bless us with, with their their voice of wisdom. wisdom. Oh, I did it. Says this little doodad lets you access knowledge. Maybe we can use it to find a way to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Let's you, give it a try. Do you just call this man your dad? May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. May the mighty God bless us with their voice of wisdom. Nyum. Nyum. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Even Paimon had. Nah, no way. Why is Genshin suddenly super high tech game? This is crazy. Exactly. That is the power of the Akasha. This is ridiculous. And with that. Let me officially welcome you both to Sumeru City. Thank you. May the wisdom of the Dendro Archon always be your guide. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, now that we're in, we can check the Akasha about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Yeah. As if that information would be this close. You know what? We're going to get jailed for this. Like, oh my god, they're hired assassins from the homeland. Five hundred years ago, the sages found a newly born <laughs> deity from within some scorched ruins. Okay. The deity now resides in the sanctuary of Suristana. Who would have thought? Hmm. Seems pretty similar to what Kali was telling us. How, how would you assume the person that owns the whole place doesn't live in the biggest, tallest, craziest place? Also, what the hell is that? That looks so cool and crazy. And this looks cool. This little peak here. Definitely gonna be scenic. And this also looks pretty neat. Okay, next, let's concentrate on asking how to meet her. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, huh? <laughs> uh, Paimon doesn't sense anything. The Akasha didn't respond to Paimon's question. How surprising. Oh, come on! Ugh. Focusing on this question feels like when you have something you're trying to remember and it's on the tip of your tongue, but you just can't think of it. Right. Ugh. Paimon's brain is exhausted. I'll try asking it something else. Maybe we'll indirectly find more information about Kusanali. Smart idea! But what are you going to ask it? Mmm... I'm going to ask it. I don't know, what was what she told us at the Golden Apple Archipelago? Why doesn't the Agasha answer my question? No. Ah, uh, Lesser Lord, Kusanali, or Greater Lord? I think Lesser Lord. There wasn't really anything that I didn't already know. Oh. Shame. Who are you? Why are you walking up slowly? Mm. And scenically? You too? What a shame. How about the Greater Lord? 
Many bright thoughts of light appeared in my mind. I probably need to calm my mind and focus more to understand what they mean. Feelings of affection, intimacy, nostalgia, sadness, and anxiety also come to mind. These seem to be what the people from Sumeru feel about their departed arc. Uh oh. Paimon's getting all teary eyed all of a sudden. It feels like the people of Sumeru really miss their arc. Oh, well, they have a new one. And <laughs> this one, why does this stupid thing work? A vague thought suddenly comes to mind. It doesn't unconditionally respond to every query. Also, even if the same query is requested multiple times by multiple people, the Akasha still imparts knowledge based on each person's identity, age, experiences, and other demographics. Huh. Could it be because we're outlanders and we've only just arrived in Sumeru? I don't know. You know, maybe we're not qualified to receive an answer to this sort of question or something. I don't think anyone is. Well, seems no matter which way we try, we can't find anything that'll lead us to Lesser Lord Kusanali. <laughs> We've been here for five minutes. Our only choice now is to try meeting with the researcher that Tainari recommended. Sure. I feel like we could also check out the big house. He's from Sumeru and even has a position in the academia. Maybe he'll be able to access more info from the Akasha. Uh huh. Let's see. Voice of Akasha. Tainari wrote an address on the letter's envelope. Oh, it's not far from the city's gate. Is it Rohari? Let's get over and have a look. I am having a look. Hello. Hello. Are you Rohari? Nice stash, bro. Yes, that's me. Uh, can I help you? Yes, actually. Great! You see, Tainari sent us here and... What? Tainari? Yes. I... Uh, please, th there's no need to say anything, really. Sure, I admit that the article I published last month wasn't my <laughs> best work, and maybe the data didn't produce the most convincing results, but... I think you misunderstood us. <laughs> I think you misunderstood us. We're not here to discuss academics. Here! This is a letter from Tainari! Oh, let me see. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a relief. You two nearly scared the life out of me. So you two just have some questions for me? Uh-huh. Seems even Tainari acknowledges my innate ability for procuring information. Okay, you're awful. So what is it you two would like to know? Your arrogance makes you look like a total nerd. Uh, how do I get to the Archon? We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? I was about to say, like, yes, you have to complete commissions for her and you will earn her, earn her gratitude. But then I realized there's actually the new, you know, the weeklies. There's new weeklies in Subaru now. You mean you want to meet the Dendro Archon herself? Yes. Ah, uh, this isn't exactly my area of expertise, but let me see what I can find in the Akasha. If you find more, this is awful place. Hmm. Sorry, the Akasha didn't respond to my query. I know. What? You too? <laughs> information and all that. <laughs> Paimon was sure you'd be able to access more info than we did. Uh, I was sure you wouldn't do anything. Well, as I said, this isn't my area of expertise. I am but a lowly researcher. So the Akasha doesn't see a need for me to know more about the Dendro Archon. Right. All I know is that ever since Lesser Lord Kusanali returned to Sumeru, she's never left the Sanctuary of Sorostana or made a public appearance. Well, here we go. Let's go there. You know we're going to get full access to the Akasha once we help the Archon once. Huh. Didn't expect her to be such a mysterious figure. You said about every Archon. The Dendro Archon is somewhat of a recluse. Perhaps she just doesn't want to entertain visitors, which would explain the lack of information in the Akasha. Yeah. Knock on the door. <laughs> no need to worry just yet. I'm only hypothesizing here. You could certainly try asking around and see if anyone else has ideas. Nice, I love these. And besides, you two should consider the bright side of things. Not being able to see Lesser Lord Kusanali may not be a bad thing. Uh oh. In this world, there will always be information you cannot obtain from the Akasha and things you can never accomplish. Knowing when to yield is a form of wisdom. Ugh. Take me for example. It's a miracle if my brain cells can spit out one paper every three years. Ugh. But Tainari? That guy can publish three papers in just a single year. He's crazy. Uh, okay. <laughs> Thanks for your advice. Yeah, that's the vibe. Don't mention it. If you two ever want information about things like who's been promoted within the academia or relations between the six great sages, come find me. Hmm. So by area of expertise, you meant this kind of stuff? Just gossip? Hey, come on! Hey, this come on! This is a survival skill at the academia. Right. Oh, Paimon's expectations were pretty low. <laughs> but this is so low, it's like digging holes in the dirt. That is toxic. Uh, so what do we do now? Even if we want to talk to someone, someone, we don't know anybody here. No, there's still one other person we know. Huh? Like who? Catherine! Let's go! Oh! Adventurer's Guild has its own intel network! Let's hurry and find her! 
I can't wait to see Catherine! 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 Where's the Adventurer's Guild? We're gonna go here every day for a year. This place is pretty! Cute little marketplace! Waypoint and the guild's right here! Treasure Street! I love treasure! Oh my god, it's Maoyo! Another one of my relatives! This is so cute! Where's the crafting table though? Wait, here? Hey, Farid. By the way, well, like, what the? How is the crafting table so far away? That's gonna be changed. Remember in Inazuma when it came out initially, there was a little a news board. Hadisara, thanks. And it was right beside the crafting table, and people got mad about it. So then they moved the cra they moved the, the panel. Anyway, I know what I'm saying. You probably don't. But oh, Catherine, I'm so excited. Ad Astra Abyssal. You have such a cute shack Hello, here. Traveler and Paimon. Hey. Catherine, we need your help with something. Just ask if she's okay first. How are you doing? Understood. The Adventurers Guild is always ready to serve you. <laughs> with what do you require assistance? I'm so happy to see her here for no reason. We want to meet with Lesser Lord Kusanali. Do you know a way we can do that? And do not even dare look it up in the little machine on my ear. You two wish to meet with Sumeru's Archon. Understood. Please wait. She's using the machine. Waiting. Still waiting. Waiting longer. I apologize, but I am unable to call any knew you relevant would do information that. in the Akasha. I'm also unable to locate any pertinent information in my personal memory. Fine. Aww, another dead end. If Catherine can't help us, then we really don't know anyone else to ask. There's now. one more person. Zhang Li, who happens to be drinking tea at the tea house right there. Please do not worry. I may Ooh. know of someone who can help you two. Oh, playable character. In Sumeru, the Adventurous Guild does not serve as the vanguard of information. Okay. Rather, there are numerous active mercenary groups collectively known as the Aramites. Uh-huh. They take on various contracts and work all across Sumeru, so they naturally accrue intelligence. Fair. An Aramite brigade called the Corps of Thirty is in charge of Sumeru City's defenses. Okay. Not only are they the oldest brigade, but they are responsible for managing and coordinating the affairs of all other mercenary brigades. And their intelligence doesn't get merged in this little thing? The Akasha? Asphant, an advisor with the Corps of Thirty, maintains good relations with the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Though he's already retired, he and his words carry great weight within mercenary circles. Sure. If you'd like to get in contact with him, you can find him at the Corps of Thirty's headquarters, the Ooh. Citadel of Regzar. Thanks a bunch, Catherine. You're welcome. I wish you two the best of luck. We look forward to your exploits in Sumeru. Thank you. I love you, Catherine. Alright! Off to the Citadel of Rizzo we go! Oh! Nah, but do I have to change- Should I change my commissions to S Sumeru? I don't have it yet. <laughs> I don't even have it unlocked. Why are you blocking this, huh? Why can I not go in? Uh, and you are? I'm just not allowed in. Okay, great. Skipped it. Parkour. Oh my god. Watch this though. Big fish. Okay. Hello. Welcome. The Adventurer's Thank Guild you. told me to expect you to. Really? How? How? How so quick? It's nice to meet you, Asfand. We'd like to ask you about something. About many things. Whoa! <laughs> Hello? I see. So, Catherine's the one who sent you this way. I think we missed the fade to black there. Ha! <laughs> It's true that the Aramites network is vast, but even I can't help you meet the Dendro Archon. Man. Wait, seriously? That's it? That's it. <laughs> Great, so. The Aramites aren't terribly religious, so we don't know much about divinities. As far as the Akasha goes, we can access even less than you. Huh, okay. It's a cool mercenary symbol, though, I will say. We originally came from the desert. Right. The gods there died off long ago. Since those days, we've used our own two hands to carve out a living. We don't beg gods for their aid. Neither do I. I just want to talk to them. It isn't just us, though. If you ask me, I think most in Sumeru aren't interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali. Sure. Oh? Why's that? Probably one of those everyone was fond of the previous one, so no one cares about the new one. Just take the Academia, for example. They're the ones who truly rule Sumeru. Sounds awful. Although they believe in gods, most of them only care for the late great See? Lord Rugadavada. There you go. In their eyes, she was the one who founded Sumeru and gifted us with the Akasha. Lesser Lord Kusanali just happened to inherit her legacy. Right. 
Because of the Academia's influence, most citizens are more familiar with Greater Lord Rukadavada and hold her in greater esteem. Well, that's fair. If, if the Lesser Lord hasn't really accomplished anything. Not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali never makes an appearance. Yeah. And the Academia never announces anything about her. Right. As far as the people of Sumeru are concerned, she's just a god that exists. And that's all. I'm very intrigued in why that's the case. In a way, maybe there's nothing to take care of in Sumeru, so it makes sense. Sumeru. <laughs> so it makes sense that she, she's not really doing anything. Really? Oh, after hearing all of that, Paimon sort of feels bad for Lesser Lord Kusanali. Why, though? Ha, but who knows? Yeah. We're all just guessing when it comes down to it. Sure. Besides, I'm sure the God of Wisdom doesn't worry about her reputation among people like us. Well, she tried to get in touch with me when I was having a beach holiday. So I'm not people like us, okay? I'm the honorary knight of Mondstadt. Alright. Well, thanks for the info, Aswan. She's probably gonna come to us <laughs> no problem. before we have to find her. Always happy to help out the Adventurers Guild. Sure. Thanks anyway. After leaving the Citadel of Regzar, you question several people in Sumeru City. Sumeru City. It's gonna take a while. Seems Osfond was right about most people's attitudes here. Of course. Not only are they not interested in the Dendro Archon, they even say stuff like, If the Akasha doesn't think I should know, then I don't need to know about it. I don't like that at all. We've been asking for information non-stop ever since we got to Sumeru. But the harder we try, the more helpless everything seems. I absolutely love the little walk as we talk. It's very pretty. And the lighting is perfect. Isn't there at least one person in this entire city who cares about Lesser Lord Kusanali? Oh my, and now we find the person in Sumeru that's equivalent to that Barbara fan in Mondstadt. Oh, uh, you two are interested in Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes. She's wearing a pretty outfit. Huh? Who are you? What do you mean? From the sound of it, you two are outlanders who recently arrived here. Uh-huh. You've been asking around for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Absolutely. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. That's a pretty name. I'm Dunyarzad, one of Dunyarzad. Lesser Lord Kusanali's faithful followers. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa, really? Then do you know how we can meet with her? No, you just pray every night, that's it. I'm afraid I can't help you with that. Aww. But your conversation earlier did happen to remind me of a legend about the Dendro Archon. What sort of legend? Can you tell us? Sure. It goes like this. Long, long ago, there was a man who heard a prophecy. Okay. It predicted that a great calamity was about to befall him. Sure. Panicked by what he heard, the man sought out the Dendro Archon this in the hopes that she map. would bless him with the wisdom to help him escape his predicament. The man journeyed across deserts and through rainforests and experienced tribulations of every kind. Right. However, he still couldn't find any trace of the Dendro Archon. Okay. In despair, he thought, alas, the Archon has abandoned me. He then had no choice but to sorrowfully resign to his fate. Okay. Okay. And then what happened? Then she came to him. And then the calamity came. Oh. But to his own surprise, the man felt somehow emboldened by the trials of his journey. That's cool. By relying on his own strength, he managed to overcome the adversity. It is a nice little hope message, but also it doesn't help me find the Archon. At that moment, a bird perched upon his shoulder. This hmm. bird was, in fact, an avatar of the Dendro Archon. Of course. She said... What did she say? Oh, Archon Seeker, do you now understand? She and her wisdom have long been found by you. Okay, and what is it, like your self-confidence? Along your journey, we were in every flower and blade of grass. That every is cute. ray of sparkling sun and every breath of dancing wind. So long as you continue to think and ponder, we'll be wherever you go. This is this is aligned with the whole Golden App Archipelago message as well. That is a good story. And in that sense, the Archon doesn't have to be there, as long as people keep thinking, you know. Yeah, thanks for the story! Paimon feels all warm and fuzzy inside after that. Fair. <laughs> uh, in a way, it seems like this story is also one of the Dendro Archon's avatars. Uh-uh. Dunyarzad, since you worship Lesser Lord Kusanali, can you tell us anything else about her? Something spicy, please. <laughs> Why does everyone feel like there's some kind of secret agent spying on us with these earphones in? Of course. So did you two know that, uh, uh, 
I'm, I'm terribly sorry, but it seems something's come up now. Oh. Uh, let's chat another day. They are bad people. She runs. She actually runs. This guy. Mad hey, sus. Hey! Uh, what the heck just happened? It definitely has something to do with those. It looks like they're searching for someone. Dinyarzad was acting super nervous <laughs> just now. Think they're looking for her? Definitely. See if we can get rid of them. Then we can catch up with Dinyarzad. There's no way. She ran. She's already gone. She's back in, in Liwa already. Hey, have you two seen a brown haired girl wearing a purple top and a long blue dress? Nope. We're looking for her. Okay. Uh, did she have bandages wrapped around her wrists? What? What? Yes, that's her. You see which direction she went? Behind you. Uh, yeah, she went that way. Did she just point her the right way? What? Quick, after her. Paimon. Quick as they walk. <laughs> That did not work last time we did this. Who did we do this to again? Oh yeah, Ito and Kuki. And it didn't work either. Catch up with her. She really didn't go far, huh? This is cool as well. Treasure appraiser extraordinaire. You're a tiny boy. Khalid. Hey Khalid, sell these now. No, I'm busy. Oh, I'm climbing on your pot, it seems. Hello. There you are, Dunyazad. We thought you might have been long gone by now. You kind of stopped early. Oh, it's you two. Oh, you startled me there. Why? How? You can relax now. We threw those people looking for you off the trail. Uh, really? Oh, thank you so much. Unfortunately, I believe there's still more of them out there looking for me. But why? Looks like there are some coming this way. Don't worry, we'll send them away. But why are they chasing you, though? We're helping a criminal. Huh? More of them? Then what are we standing here for? Run! No, wait, I... Uh... My body isn't in the best shape. It's difficult for me to run. How about we find some place to hide? Okay, sounds good. There's a tavern on the other side of the port we can go to. They probably wouldn't expect me to hide in a place like that. Okay. All right, let's move out. Stay behind us. We'll keep an eye no. out for anyone looking for you. Not actually stealth. <laughs> it's, it has nothing. You can just sprint wherever you want. You don't have to do anything. Just run to the tavern. You guys don't happen to serve any jobs. Hey, you got any sales? You got any recipes? Why you no got a recipe? Enter the tavern. Here we are. Not very crowded. Pretty place, though. <sighs> we made it. Oh, they shouldn't be able to find us now. Oh, jeez. Stand down, dear. Hey, you're from the launcher. Are you a cat person or is that a headband? <laughs> Paimon in shock, that's amazing. Who are these two? Yo, you're kind of hot. What is this? Are you actually, do you fight with your claws? That'd be cool. They're travelers that I met on the street just a moment ago. They happened to notice that you were all searching for me, so they helped me hide. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> she's one of the bad people? I see. In that case, you two should scram. There's nothing here for you. Okay. Wait a sec. <laughs> right. I'm Miss Dunyarzad's bodyguard, here to see that she returns home safe and sound. But why are these other people after her? My lady, let's get going. You've been gone for so long that your parents are worrying themselves sick. And if I refuse to go with you? <laughs> what is going on? This storyline has had so many twists and turns. Now we're talking to some grown woman who needs to get fetched by a cat lady for her parents. But if you insist on not going, then I'll have to carry you like a sack of potatoes. <laughs> I like her. Hey, Junior Zod already said she doesn't want to go back. Why are you still pushing her? <laughs> Stay out of this. You don't understand the situation. Clearly I don't. Sorry, my lady. Even though I'm your bodyguard, your parents are my employers. I have to answer to them. <laughs> How much? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no way you're gonna get bribed right now. How much mora do I have to pay you to become your employer? So you never listen to my parents ever again. <laughs> Double? A triple? Give me some time and I'll get that much. What do you mean? Yo, are they making kebab over here? My lady, this isn't about mora. What is it about then? More rolls. Whoa, that's pretty close. <sighs> I don't know what you think of us Aramites, but let me say this. I like mora. But I'll never go against my principles. Hey, see? Morals, principles. That's why I'm here looking for you. Sure, it's an order from my employer, but my conscience was also telling me it's the right thing to do. She has very pretty eyes. And knowing your health, carelessly running around like this is gonna hurt ya. For the sake of those Another who love you, person. don't be stubborn. What is it with Sumeru and people not being in good shape? 
No, you're wrong. I'm aware of my limits, and I know what I'm doing. Honestly, the only people being stubborn right now are my parents. <laughs> and they know perfectly well that it makes no difference if I'm at home or not. They still won't accept reality. Okay. And every time I bring this up, they just change the subject. Dia, you've been living with us a long time already. This should be old news to you. What is going on? <sighs> <sighs> Dia, I know it hasn't been easy for mother and father. And I'm grateful for everything they've done for me. But there's someone else in this world I'm also grateful to. You. Because she saved me. Oh, the me. god. The love I have for her is the same I have for my parents. This is my life it's and my the last god. chance. The so lesser I want to do something meaningful. My lady, are you sure what you're doing now is meaningful? Yes, I'm sure. At least, it is to me. Huh. Fine, I won't ask you to return home anymore. <laughs> but let me make something very clear. I'm only doing this because I respect your determination, not because I agree with you. Okay. Thank you, Dia. <sighs> Sorry for being so rude just now. My nerves I don't think it was that rude. And I even brought up your payment in such an offensive way. <laughs> uh, don't worry about it, my lady. I did say that I like Mora. Besides, that's our next topic of conversation. Oh, God. Today's little excursion caused such a ruckus that every single bodyguard at the estate was deployed. It wouldn't be easy to hide things from your old man. Okay. I wonder if she's a five or four star. She's definitely playable, though. Since this definitely won't be your last escapade, here's a little tip. You should at least make it look like your room and things are still in order when you leave. Also, you'll need someone to cover you for when you're out and about. So... I'll let you hire me, my lady. This way, everyone wins. <laughs> As for the pay, let's say mm, half of what your father pays me. We can settle the bill when we return to the estate. It sounds like her parents are rich anyway. Like, the price wouldn't even matter. Okay, deal. Deal. Yay! Looks like they've reached an understanding. That is yay. <laughs> and she's dead. You all right? I'm fine, really. I, I just feel a little tired now that things have calmed down. Great. My lady, stop trying to look tough. We're already in a tavern, so let's rest up and grab some grub. Grab some grub. I'm sorry for worrying you two. If you don't mind, I'd like for you to join us. Sure. Sure. After you rest up, we want to hear more about Lesser Lord Kusanali. Uh-huh. Black screen, white text? No. Oh, this is pretty, though. Rest in the tavern for a while. Jafar. Ha! Well, if it nah. isn't Dia, haven't seen you in nearly half a year. Word on the street is that you're a bodyguard for the Homayani family now. <laughs> Don't you find that kind of work boring? You get good pay. Nah, you get used to it. How about a menu over here? And a menu over here. You got it. Huh? Isn't this little Miss Homayani herself? Uh huh. <laughs> we don't get to serve personages like you very often. We'll be sure to prepare our very best. Oh, that's kind of cute. Thank you, sir, but there's no need. I don't have a lot of Mora on me, and I really ought to save as much as I can. <laughs> uh, but please bring these two the best food you have. They're my new friends, so I want to be a good host for them. I have plenty of Mora. I'll pay myself. No need to break the bank. We'll eat whatever you order. What? We'll pay for our own food, is what I want to say. Wait, we're paying for ourselves now? Yeah. To try something fancy. You can. But we aren't exactly loaded. Yes, we are. Paimon will settle for something ordinary. Paimon, we have like 10 million Mora. Get something nice. I don't care. It's not like we eat that often. How about our coconut charcoal cakes? That sounds amazing. They're our signature snack, and they run cheap. Look, other customers over there are eating some now. Okay, never mind. It looks absolutely disgusting. Picky Paimon? Now that's a first. But you've cooked slimes before. Hey, come on! Paimon has personal preferences too, you know! So what? It's food! After ordering, you continue chatting with Dunya's art about a lesser lord canal. We asked a lot of people when we first arrived, and almost Kusanali. nobody was interested in lesser lord Kusanali. So, what made you want to follow her? Well, she said that she saved her. Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Okay. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. Why is everyone sick here? I hate it. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends. 
and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any helpful information. What People rely way too much on the Akasha. It's like the internet, really. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. Right. One flare-up was so bad that I was in a semi-conscious state for several days. Oh. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. Does she have the same thing as Kole? At that moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Yeah, that's definitely the Archon, all right. Oh. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my name? Um, how do I explain this? You might not be able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. She also knows that we're looking for her now. Really? Yes. Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder, that you hate taking medicine every morning, and that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. <laughs> okay, oddly specific. Wow, you really do know everything. That makes her happy? That would make me even more scared. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? To be healthy. What? Not really. I can't go anywhere or do anything. There you go. You want to go places and do things. Huh? But aren't you a child? <laughs> All children have wishes. <laughs> Tell me what you want. And what maybe you really, I can really make it happen. Oh. But, uh, can you make my illness go away? There you go. Oh, I'm sorry. But uh, I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. She will get powerful enough, though? Then, can you be my friend? <laughs> oh. Oh. After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. Aww. Although my body was suffering during those days, that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. I look so tiny as well in this. Beyond my window was the flourishing Sumeru city. Beyond the city was a lush rainforest. And beyond that was the wall of Samiel, deserts, and all of Tibet. Once I finally made it through that bout of illness, I couldn't hear that voice anymore. I told my mother about it, but she said that I must have been dreaming. Right. But I know that that voice wasn't a figment of my imagination. Before that, I had never heard of Tibet. So you believe the voice you heard was Lesser Lord Kusanali? Yes, for sure. We've heard her too in the GAA. If it weren't for that voice, I would have never grown curious about the outside world, nor would I have learned how to read and enjoy so many books. It really sounds like a Disney princess story. That voice sparked a desire for wisdom. It had to have been the Dendro Archon. Sure. I've been hoping for a chance to repay her kindness. In fact, I was running around today to help prepare the Subzerus Festival for her. Okay. What's the Subzerus Festival? The Subzero. It's when it gets cold. It's Lesser Lord Cusinelli's birthday. Oh. Which was the day that she was found by the sages. Okay. It's actually an old holiday that originally celebrated Greater Lord Rukadabata's birthday. When she passed away, the holiday eventually became a celebration of the Lesser Lord's birthday. But no one celebrates it anymore. I heard everyone was overjoyed when they welcomed her back to Sumeru. In those days, the festival was a huge deal. Right. But because of the academia's influence, mm -hmm. people have gradually lost interest in the festival. No, of course. The academia actively participates in Sumeru's many holidays dedicated to Greater Lord Rukudabata. But when it comes to the Subzerus festival, forget any funding. They practically act like it doesn't exist. Right. Maybe they see Lesser Lord Kusanali's birth as confirmation of Greater Lord Rukudabata's death, so they're reluctant to celebrate it. Maybe. Maybe they know that they have the most influence in the place and don't want to give it to the new god as well. Aww, but that's awful! Sure. It is. It's absolutely terrible. Sure, the greater lord founded Sumeru, but hasn't lesser lord Kusanali been the one quietly protecting us for the past few hundred years? Maybe. <clears throat> Just remember that we're still out in public. Don't get too carried away now. <laughs> I know that people over by the Grand Bazaar still hold the Subzerus Festival to this day, but I hadn't met any of them before, so I was never able to contribute. Well... But recently, I made a friend there who also follows Lesser Lord Kusanali. That's great. I gave her my savings because I want her to throw a wonderful oh festival this year. That's the least I could do for Lesser Lord Kusanali. You got scammed, definitely. 
Hold on, my lady. Does this friend happen to be Nilu, the <laughs> one who sends flowers to the estate? Yes, that's her. And scammed. Hmm. I saw her leaving the other day with a nervous look on her face. It seemed like she was hiding something in her arms. Did you give her something? She said, like her entire savings. Uh, yes. Uh, initially, I didn't have much more up prepared, so I had Nilu sell one of my skirts. Oh my god. I've agreed with Nilu to meet up at the Grand Bazaar today. And see how things are coming along. Dia, would you accompany me? Sure. That's quite the trip, though. I'll carry you. <laughs> Can we see no, this, that please? Would be too much, even for you. I'll carry you. You might as well just accept the lift. If I let you walk, who knows how long it'll take us? And if anything happens to you, then I'd really never hear the end of it from your father. <laughs> Can we also come along? But of course, Nilu will be thrilled to hear there are more people interested in Lesser Lord Cusinelli. I wonder who this new person is. This place is very pretty though. I like her outfit as well. I like everything. I mean, it's new, right? So that helps. You got any recipes? Show me the menu, home slice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lambad fish roll. Minty bean soup. Ooh, shawarma. Dude, shawarma is so good. Shawarma is so good. Oh my god, beans. Ita will never challenge me again. Star shrooms. Whoa. Whoa. That's cool. That's so cool. Hello, looking to buy some spices? Yes. Whoa! Restores 30% max HP? You what? <laughs> That's so expensive, I'm doing it. That's lame. Spice. I want the spice. Making this video extra spicy. Let's go. Horror fruit? I have those. I want all your all your rare stuff here. Give me all that except for your spaghetti. I can make spaghetti myself. Toy seller. You sell actual toys or no? Alright, you're garbage tradesman. Hello. Oh. I came in from the wrong way. Oh, it's her! No way! Her outfit is I'm also so late, pretty. Nilu. Oh, doing your Zod. It was taking you so long that I assumed you got trapped at home, but you made it in the end. Is she hydro? It looks like it's electro inside of the hydro thing. Man, I like her a lot too. Uh oh. But if Dia's here, that means you got caught, right? She's in. <laughs> She's in on it. I think these two are my favorites so far. I didn't. Re I don't. Tainari is okay, but I don't really care that much for it. Kole is pretty cool too, but these two are definitely my top two right now. You could say that, uh, but everything worked out. She's on our side now. Great. <laughs> uh, not completely. Oh. Oh. And who are these two? Honorary not a monster. Nice to meet you. Oh, meet the traveler and Paimon, <laughs> my two newest friends. They're visitors who just arrived at Sumera City. And are looking for information on Lesser Lord Kusanali. Right. So you're followers from another land? Mmm, truthfully, no. Oh, really? Well, that's okay. You're still invited to the Sabzeris Festival. Glad I didn't lie to her. By the way, Dunyazad, we've already started decorating the Grand Bazaar. It looks spectacular, thanks to your generous contribution. That's great. You're very welcome. Actually useful, it's the only thing not I scammed. Can do. do you still have enough more? <laughs> do I need to supply more? <laughs> uh... Probably, but don't sweat it. We've already finished renovating the stage. Come on, I'll show you. Ooh, see the stage? Wow, this place is amazing! It is pretty amazing. Not bad. Huh. Last time I was here, the stairs were full of holes. The stairs were nothing. A little while ago, we discovered that the tree above the stage had a huge chunk of bark ready to fall off. Mr. Zubair was worried sick. But it got fixed now. We reported now. it to the academia many times, but they never sent anyone to deal with it. Hmm. We didn't want anything bad happening, so we were going to cancel all the stage performances. Why didn't anyone come to handle it? Oh, probably because it was the theater asking. Okay. The academia looks down on performers like us. They probably think it would be best if the theater closed down completely. Hmm. This is the no creativity zone here in Sumeru. We can't let that happen, though. Not only would everyone involved in the theater go hungry, but then we wouldn't be able to hold the Subzerus festival anymore. Yeah. Thank the Dendra Archon for doing your Zod. But the more she gave us, we hired someone to patch up the tree, and we also gave the stage a much needed makeover. It looks wonderful. The stage is going to be even prettier when it's festival time. I can't wait for you to see it. And I can't wait to see you on the stage. You've been practicing so long already. It's almost time for your dream to become reality. <laughs> it's our dream. Our? I'll do my best for the two of us. What do you mean? Nilu, 
What are you gonna be doing at the festival? Performing, clearly. She'll be dancing the dance of Subzeros. Yeah. The most important performance at the Subzeros festival. <laughs> Who would have thought? Dunyarzad, have you told him the origin of this holiday? Yes. I only told them about the Greater Lord and Lesser Lord so far. Don't tell me there's a Middle Lord. Don't even start with this. Okay. And I'll tell you too about how this holiday came to be. Okay. Cutscene? According to no. legend, the Sabzerus Festival was originally the Goddess of Flowers' birthday flowers. celebration for the Greater Lord. Recently talked about how I preferred flowers. A long, long time ago, on one of Greater Lord Ruka Devata's birthdays, her friends threw her a celebratory banquet. Okay. Some of the gods got drunk. One started playing music, and the greater lord started singing. So the goddess of flowers began to dance. This sounds nothing like what the academia would want you to believe. As she danced upon the grass, countless beautiful potisars began to bloom wherever she stepped. That's cool. Those brilliant purple flowers became her dazzling stage. All the gods clamored, Oh! If only time could stop at this very moment. That's gonna make for a nice cutscene, I tell you. It sounds like they had a great time. Of course they did. When people mention the gods, they always think of the Archon War. It's true. But Sumeru's gods also had happy times. Right. Although they aren't around anymore, they're preserved in our tradition of dance. This outfit I'm wearing is apparently based on how the Goddess of Flowers looked. Apparently. Though we're just tiny people compared to the Divine, we we'll still have to do our best to make sure that the birthday girl feels loved on her special day. <laughs> Nilu, you of all people will uh. definitely be able to convey our well wishes to the Dendro Archon. I also noticed that you went the extra mile and scattered Potisaras around the stage. Cute. Although this is still a mess. Clean it up. <laughs> they symbolize the goddess of flowers. Yeah, we figured. All. It's just a shame that all the real Potisaras went extinct after her death. Why did all the Potisaras go extinct? Yeah. The Greater Lord brought forth Patisara's memory oh my of the God. Goddess of Flowers. They're into that. But she ultimately could never truly replicate that beautiful. They're into that, Conry lore. Thinking about the Goddess of Flowers dance makes me wish I could have seen it. If my stage were anything like that, uh, I'd be thrilled if I had just two real Patisaras on the stage. Oh, you're so needy. You get a bunch of money and you still want more. If I hire Patisara one more time. <sighs> so, Traveler in Paimon? What do you think? Interested in the Sabzerus festival? Why do you say Don't her you real name, coming? but not mine? Yeah, of course All we'll come. All of Lesser Lord Kusanali's followers will be there for her birthday. It'll be a good opportunity for you to learn more about her. She'll she'll show herself, definitely. Because I'm here. Paimon thinks that's a great idea! We'll show interest. Eventually she'll come, I'm sure. You sure it's not because you want in on the fun? Hey, come on! There's nothing wrong with enjoying a festival! I didn't say Besides, that. Besides, it's Lesser Lord Kusanali's birthday! She'll be happy to have more people who are celebrating it. Maybe. <laughs> so how about we all attend the Subzerus Festival together? Yes. Sounds like a plan. Dunyarzad, let me show you which stage decorations we've picked out so far. Traveler and Paimon, <sighs> if that doesn't sound interesting to you, then feel free to there explore the, the area. It's wonderful. Oh my god. It's interpretation dance. Whoa, it's so exotic. <laughs> Everyone at the Grand Bazaar loves Lesser Lord Kusanali, and we're all looking forward to the Sabzerus Festival. Okay. Cool. In that case, we'll take a look around. <laughs> Weird, we don't care about the decorations. Oh, we have to talk to everyone now. I love it. When I say Ali, you say... <laughs> Alright. Hey, Gran. How's it going? Ah, uh, dancing at the Sabzerus Festival. Yes. You know, I also danced when I was younger. There's no way you could have danced when you were younger. You are little granny. <laughs> As a child, I even asked my grandmother why we performed the dance for the lesser lord when it was originally done to honor the greater lord. Uh huh. My grandmother said that greater lord Rukadavata is a beloved deity and honored by all. And That's the cute. Zeru's festival has been losing its appeal over the years. Yeah. Until a wealthy benefactor stepped in this year. Yeah, I know her. Huh. Revamping the stage for the festival couldn't have been easy, that's for sure. I bet this year's festival will be one to remember. That'd be great. I don't know much about the Grand Bazaar, but I do know that the residents here have a penchant for song and dance. <laughs> 
two things that the academia doesn't particularly See? approve of. Of course. Oh, and they the just hate culture for some reason. A lot better than what you'll find elsewhere. The fragrances Who's are bad? longer lasting and they're gentler on your skin. And <laughs> uh, I mean, <clears throat> that's uh, what I've heard at least. Right. Good to see you also have a normal person side. Then we have Lord Farquaad over here by the notice board, which has a bed advertisement. Hey. Things are really shaping up, and there's a buzz around the festival this year. That's great. Where it's, don't be fooled into thinking that Sumeru City has the best of everything. I don't. And when it comes to musicians, dancers, or singers, the Grand Bazaar's got the best of the best. Yeah, the other place sure, hates those it. those folks at the Academia might not like it. Yeah. But what's a festival without song and dance? I don't know, dude. Oh my god, Kumari and Swoof. Hey, Kumari. Whoa! What's with your yellow hair? What do you mean? And why do your clothes look so funny? What do you mean? Are you an Outlander? It's not that funny. Did you know that the Sabzeros Festival is about to happen? I do. There will be loads of fun things to do at the festival. Oh. But the best part is when Ferris, the Knight of Flowers, passes out candy to everyone. That sounds amazing. Hey, Doggy. Arf music. Very nice. <laughs> All right, Dunyazard, really, let's hear it. Your outfit looks amazing. There's also something different about you from when we first met up. <laughs> Is there now? I thought I'd add a little extra pizzazz to my dress for the pizza. festival. See? I see. Wow. Did you sew all that yourself? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Sewing is a fundamental skill for everyone in the theater company because true. we make all our own costumes. True, true, true. Did you know that Mr. Zubair not only can make costumes, but props too? That's crazy. <laughs> I've noticed that you can't keep your eyes off that crown over there. Would you like to try it on? Where? <laughs> May I? What of crown? course. The legends say that the goddess of flowers had beautiful horns on her head. I was gonna so say, why she have horns? Made to reflect that. Oh, her crown. Oh, Dunya Zod, you look absolutely stunning with it on. <laughs> oh, we're done. Cutscene time for real, maybe. Hey, nope. Is that her plan Catherine. Of She's robing! That's so cool! Catherine, what's up? That's so exciting. <laughs> I love this. Huh. Come to think of it, Paimon's only ever seen her behind the counter at the Adventurers Guild. I know. This is the first time we've ever seen her taking a break. I know, I love it. Hey, Catherine! Hey, is it me or is there a chicken on the floor? Oh, no, it's the carpet. Never mind. Hmm? Oh, hey! It's the Traveler and Paimon! <laughs> What's shaken? What's shaken? Whoa, break time Catherine sure sounds a lot less formal than usual. Hyman was still waiting for her to say Ad Astra Abyssos. You can just address her, you know, she's standing right there. Sure. <laughs> standing behind the counter at the Adventurer's Guild doesn't require any complicated functions. This is cool. But saying and doing the same old things over and over again can get pretty <laughs> monotonous. <laughs> Like watching the same Fontaine movie day after day. <laughs> movie? I love that Catherine is a normie. But take you two for example. You travel across to Vat to enrich your lives and gain new experiences. So do you. Well, we enjoy traveling across to Vat and all that, but we're mainly looking for clues about her brother. No dot. Yes. You should keep searching. Sometimes the answers we're looking for aren't necessarily at our intended destination. Huh. Instead, they're found along the way. Are you saying it's the friends we make along the way right now? Huh. Haven't we heard someone say something pretty similar recently? I don't know anymore. Anyways, what brings you out here, Catherine? Are you also found at Sebzeru's festival? No, not particularly. I guess you could say that I'm loving the recent atmosphere here. Sure. If festivals bring happiness to everyone, then that's where their true value lies. Yep, yeah, definitely agree. Oh, it looks like it's about time for me to be heading back now. Aww. All right, we'll see you next time at the Adventures Guild. We'll miss oh, you. By the way, thanks for connecting us with the Aramites. We've already made some great friends in Sumeru City thanks to you. I wish Catherine could stick. I'm sure you two will get along well with the people here. You've already been blessed by the element of Dendro, after all. <laughs> <laughs> See you around. Do you think that's because I use the statue? I still wonder if that's something that I only get because I switched. See you, Catherine. Take care. I kind of feel bad for her. Hmm. There's something really different about Catherine today. I did think it was sus, but on the other hand, I'm just in festival mood. Hey, traveler. 
Paimon. Hello. Oh, hey, Thea. What's going on? I've got something to tell you. My lady knows you're looking for ways to meet Lesser Lord Kusanali. Okay. And she's been trying to come up with a way to help you. Oh. Well, I have an idea that might help. Really, now? How come you're so keen to help us? Are you serious? We'd love that! Of course we would. It might not necessarily pan out, so don't get your hopes up too much. I'll need to take you two somewhere and ask someone some questions. Sure. My lady is feeling a little worn out at the moment. Nilu's found a place for her to rest. Okay. After I take my lady home, let's meet in front of the Citadel of Regzar. Okay. Sounds like a plan! See you there. These plans are not working out in the slightest. Let's head over to the Citadel of Regzar. The Trail of the God of Wisdom. Go to the entrance of the Citadel to Regzar to wait for Dea. Hey, Dea. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. That's okay. It took some convincing for the master and mistress to believe that Miss Dunyarzad was only sitting in the port for a while because she was in a bad mood. Right. Speech anyway, 100. I guess I should be thanking you. I haven't seen Miss Dunyarzad that happy in a long time. If it wasn't for you two, she probably would have been caught and dragged back much earlier. Fair. You sure sound a whole lot nicer than when we first met, Dia. <laughs> you stabbed me in the back with your claws. Right. Uh, it's called being a professional. Mm. I'm a bodyguard, and I work for whoever's paying. Right. <laughs> Look, Dia's blushing. <laughs> yep, that's a blush if I've ever seen one. Listen, you two. <laughs> I don't expect to be working for Miss Dunyarzad very long, but I hope to finish things on a positive note if possible. Uh -huh. Let's cut the chit chat and head into the Citadel. Thank you. We'll see if the person I know has a way for you two to meet with the Lesser Lord. Oh, thank you. I'm so tired. My legs are killing me. Oh, hey, Chief. Hey, Chief. We know this dude. Ah, <laughs> Dia, what are you doing here? And well, well. Didn't expect to see you three together. You've been lying to me, Aspen. You've been hiding any critical information. <laughs> I take it you all know each other already? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We met this morning after the Adventurers Guild pointed us to Osfan for more info. No kidding. Huh. So, where's Ruksha? I thought I'd help these two out by asking about the theft. Anything you can tell him? Huh. Ruksha's gone over to the Academia. The Grand Sage recently ordered Sumeru City to begin bolstering its defenses. Okay. So people from all over have been called back to the city. Really? <clears throat> Since you've already mentioned the theft, I suppose I might as well tell him what we know. Okay. The Holy Liar of Himmel. Appreciate it, Chief. Uh, Thanks, Chief. Theft? Sorry, what the heck are you guys talking about? I don't know. Just recently, the Academia lost something. Uh -huh. And there's a chance the item is connected with the Dendro Archon. Oh. This case might just somehow help you in meeting her. Sure. <laughs> I suppose that's one way to look at it. If you ask me, the case is more about the Academia than anything else. Well, that's also something we need to know more of, because they seem very weird and sus. Let me fill you in. The Academia recently sent a convoy to pick up an important package from Aru Village. Uh-huh. Word got out, and the convoy was robbed on its way back. Of course. The, the Grand Fatui. Sage took the whole matter very seriously. Not only did he dispatch the Matra, but also enlisted our help in the search for leads. Okay. All we know so far is that whatever was stolen is currently in Port Ormos. Oh. You two have heard of Port Ormos, haven't you? Yeah, it's one time. It's the largest commercial port in all of Sumeru. You can travel there by leaving Sumeru City and heading south along the river. I feel like that's what we're gonna do. I hope there's boats. And I mean boats that we can go in and the drive. The Academia's grip isn't long enough to reach all the way to Port Ormos. So the city's a little more laid back. Okay. Meaning the population's also a mixed bag. You never know who you'll meet there. Shangli. Apparently what was lost has a great deal to do with the Akasha knowledge. Mm. And even the gods. I'm afraid I don't have any other details for you though. I learned nothing. If you're interested, maybe you could head to Port Ormos and ask around yourselves. If you want my advice, try introducing yourselves as students of the Academia once you're there. Okay. Students of Academia, you say? Why should we do that? Are you serious, Chief? All the Academia students are in Sumeru City, you know. Why should they pretend to be students in Port Ormos? <laughs> Inside info. If you're also interested, just go there and see what happens. Okay. Count me out. I've got plenty of work to do here for the Homayani family. Man, we gotta say me. bye. If you two really do decide to visit Port Ormos, you best watch your backs. 
Let's just say that the Eremites there aren't nearly as friendly as those here in Sumeru City. Literal bandits, okay. There are even some extremists who go around shouting slogans like, Retake Sumeru for the Scarlet King. <laughs> Word is that more and more are joining their movement. Right. They're becoming a real headache for Chief and the others. I see. You bet they are. The Scarlet King's been dead for thousands of years. Now they start spreading rumors of his return. Ridiculous. I believe it. Not everyone's like you, Chief. Even the desert natives who abandon their homes in the wilderness still wish to have a god of their own. Well, Traveler, that's about all the information we have for you. I like how thanks, quick Gia. we are with the uh... Yeah, Since thanks, we gang. All we could for the moment in Sumeru City, let's head to Port Ormos and see what we can find. Ooh, a whole the other storyline. Whoops. Looking forward to seeing you both at the Subzeru's festival. So, be sure to get yourselves back here in time for that. Do my best. Good. Then we'll see you both at the Subzeru's festival. Uh-huh. The Trail of the God of Wisdom complete. New quest, Lost in Property. Yeehaw. Whoa. What are you guys? Oh no! I killed a super tiny cute pig! I just want to see if these guys are just... No, they're new. Someone's been surrounded by Halo Trolls. Hello. <laughs> this traveling is so satisfying. Give me in reach. Seriously, not a single boat thing. There'd be such a cool boat thing. Whoa, look at that big puffer boy. I need to catch the puffer boy. There's new fish. Oh, no, 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 no. New frog. Forest tree frog. I need it. I should have caught that. That's so cool. I'm stealing your fruit. And your other things. Here's some exploration percent of this lake right here. Whoa, that thing looks cool. It looks like a Pokemon almost. I like this color pattern. Are you a bird? If you're a bird, I no longer like you. You're some kind of weird mushroom wizard. Speaking of fish, here's Lulamat. Fishing is my Rashid. What? There's new baits. I'll buy that. There's a, wow, a cool little fishing thing. Sure. Oh, this is for the new ones. A new fishing rod. Okay. Oh, this is a bow. End of the line. That's so cool. It's like the catch. I bet it's really good. And it's refinement as well. Fishing line stabilizer. I'll buy that. <laughs> When you get the fur, you can, you can use it to assist in fishing. Ah, oh, so it just helps fishing. Cool, thanks. And I also see there is a million boxes here. So if we don't get to 100%, just go get boxes. This music is cool. I keep, I like these animals a lot as well. Okay, this port doesn't look that never mind. Yeah, it's pretty big. I can't get over how nice the music is, though. We've made it. Look at this shot. Traditional spices of the highest quality, made with pride and experience. You really think you're gonna attract people, like, talking so softly? <laughs> You've got a deal. I can't thank you enough for always looking after my business. Believe me, I'm not making this up. Several Eremite mercenary groups are nearly in open conflict, but does the core of 30 care? And that's not all. Did you know that... Wow. Someone's trying to spread lies or somebody. Hurry, burly, this place is busy! Guess that's only to be expected for the largest port in Sumeru. <laughs> it's really not that big. Paimon can't seem to shake the feeling that there's also danger lurking in these crowds. Sure, we're in the slums. Let's get our bearings so we can start looking for leads. All right. We know that whatever the academia lost is related to the gods. Other than that, we don't have much else to go on. Right. Osman told us to try posing as academia students while asking around. Uh huh. Hyman checked the Akasha on the way here, nice. and the academia doesn't seem to have any research facilities in Port Ormos. Yeah, we're here for travel research. Hyman doesn't get it. Won't we look even more suspicious going around saying we're academia students and asking about the stolen item? Yeah, we should figure that out before doing anything else. And it could be crucial for the rest of our investigation as well. Well, given all the people that come through here every day, if there's any information to be found, time on bets we could find it in the market. Mm -hmm. Let's ask around and see what we come up with. Sure. Welcome. Welcome. How can I help you too? Info. Uh, we would like to ask you a question. Do students from the academia ever come to Port Ormos? <laughs> of course. Uh -huh. Especially around this time of year, students from Sumeru City that are about to graduate often come to Port Ormos to cut loose a little. Okay, sure. 
Many people often talk about how hard it is to get accepted into the academia, let alone graduate. But those who finish their studies and go on to become full-time researchers at the academia have it even harder. Yeah, that seems pretty awful. I really do not like the academia. Sure, we may not be Sumero City, but Port Ormos offers beautiful scenery and a stress-free environment. No. Some even say it's good luck to come to Port Ormos. Okay. So students and researchers come flocking here when things get to be too much at the academia. It sounds like hell. Ah. You see over there? Uh-huh. Those are students from the academia. They look pretty serious. Maybe even a little worried. They've been looking worried and miserable ever since they got here a few days ago. <laughs> They're really putting the academia in the worst light now here. If you ask me, the life of a merchant is better. I agree. So long as the Akasha teaches us what we need, then life is good. I don't think you need to have the Akasha either. Those students seem to be discussing something. Let's see if we can listen in. Eavesdropping. I feel like if the Akasha is made by the Academia as well, or like, managed by them, they will only tell you the info they want you to know, too. So it's like doomed either way, it's literally eavesdropping. It's no good. I've tried asking around, but I haven't been able to learn anything useful. Not to mention that a bunch of scary looking Aramite mercenaries have been posted along the streets now. Uh -huh. There's been a lot of fighting between the different Aramite Are factions these thieves? in Portor. We choose to move on our own, that it would be wise to steer clear of them. Okay. Especially the group that's constantly shouting some stuff about the Scarlet King and some resurrection. I've even heard that the Citadel of Regzar is starting to get fed up with them. What was that group called again? Ein something or other? Hmm. They're called Ein El Akmar. Today, I heard that the thing we're after might be in their possession at the moment. Ah. Uh. Wait, come again? Don't you see? Good info. Many of the Aramites in Port Ormos deal with trading this kind of thing. Okay. They're usually pretty wary of outsiders, but not so with students of the academia. Okay. It's because the kind of goods that students are looking for aren't the kind of goods that Aramites are after. Sure. As long as they know you're a student, then deals can be made. I've heard that Ein al Hakmar likes to set up shop at the Jafar Tavern. Supposedly, if you're willing to part with half a million Mora, they'll give you info on anything. Half a milli? What? Wait, did you say half a million? If information alone costs that much, then how could we ever afford to buy what we're looking for? <laughs> <sighs> I guess we might as well give up on trying to graduate this way. That's how they play. Oh my god. I wouldn't worry too much. Our field of research is very niche. Who else could possibly be after that kind of shady knowledge? I bet it's practically worthless to anyone aside from us. Okay. Well, I guess that makes sense. Then the only thing left for us now is to find a way in. Why don't we all just pool our money together and pay for the information? Hmm. They agree? Whoa! Did you hear that? A niche field of research and shady knowledge? It all sounds pretty suspicious to Paimon. I told you. Is knowledge something people just buy and sell like that? Sus is just a good word for this questline so far. Whatever was stolen from the academia was also related to knowledge. So, what's your plan? Beat them up. Um, Jafar Tavern or one of the Emirates? I think the Tavern. Wait, didn't you hear what they just said? Buying information is going to cost us half a million mora! Yeah. Have you lost your mind? We can be funded easily. <laughs> I won't let them off easy if it turns out to be a scam. Oh, alright. Paima never thought she'd agree to parting with that kind of mora. But if you know what you're doing... Then we should give it a shot. I'm the honorary knight of Mondstadt, Paimon. Go to the Jafar Tavern. Go in. This, this is looks pretty cool. Heard those students talking about. Let's this is very nice. Let's somewhere and see if we can spot the group they mentioned. Okay. You sit down and wait for some time. Oh, you've arrived. Please take a seat. Hey. How do we not even have a drink yet? So, they think that they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss? Huh. <laughs> Once we reclaim the power of the Scarlet King, they'll be the first that the boss punishes. Okay. <laughs> They're nothing to be afraid of. Our main rival now is the Caracol Battalion. They've also what amassed a significant wars? amount of more this time, so we mustn't underestimate them. Okay. How can the Caracol Battalion compete with the boss when they're nothing but a bunch of money-grubbing opportunists out for a quick mora? I don't know. Yeah. With boss's fervent devotion, he'll be able to use this power to bring our god back this time. Heck yeah. Huh. All these guys talk about is the Scarlet King, so they're probably the ones we're looking for. Uh-huh. <laughs> Greater Lord Ruka Devata. That traitor and her followers must not be spared. <laughs> what? The day will come when the Scarlet King exacts vengeance on Sumeru. 
and all of them shall be punished. These guys are completely crazy. A traitor? What are they talking about? Watch us become a part of the resistance. Yeah, Paimon was wondering what they meant too. We should ask about that if we get the chance later. Sure. How about now? <laughs> Can I? Hey, lads. So, anyway, how's it going? How's these dropping on you? Uh, I know you're the right ones. Huh? Who are you? What do you want? I'm a student from the academia. A student? <laughs> What's a student from Sumeru City doing in Port Ormos? Taking a break, you know? Chilling out. <laughs> Looking for info about a certain something. Ah, well, if it's info you want, you've come to the right place. The question is, can you afford it? Hand him 50 Mora. I hand him 500k. Oh, Paimon can't stand to see so much Mora go. <laughs> There's no other choice right now. Trust me, we'll get it back. <laughs> Here, this is the merchant's address. Whatever you're looking for, you'll find it there. Hmm? Well, what are you waiting for? Why is it a traitor? Oh, that's right. We heard you mention the Scarlet King just now. We're actually interested to know more because... Uh, You're butchering because... it. No. Fine. Since you've already handed over the Mora, I guess I can throw in a little extra info. Okay. As you can see, members of Ain al Ahmar are devout believers of the Scarlet King. Sure. Years ago, the Scarlet King founded the great desert nation that was our homeland. Okay. It was an advanced civilization, far beyond anything you'll see in present day Sumeru. Oh. The Scarlet King was the rightful god of wisdom. Hmm. But he was betrayed by a companion he trusted. Really? She even stripped him of his title, God of Wisdom. This fade transition, by the way, it's new. I don't know how I feel about it. You mean the traitor was... Greater Lord Ruka Devata, yes. That shameless wretch destroyed the Scarlet King's civilization. And our ancestors were forced to flee to this land where we were made to suffer the tyranny of our enemies. Hmm, beautiful shot. Furthermore, she conspired with the Academia to cover up the truth of her actions. And create the merciful and benevolent facade for which she is now known. Huh. Just thinking about it sickens me. <laughs> Both sides of the story are interesting. Like, why would someone come up with something like this? But the story doesn't end there. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. The Scarlet no, no. King isn't truly dead. The voice of the Oracle has been heard in the desert, prophesying his resurrection. Okay. Mark my words. Our God shall return. And when that day comes, all followers of the traitor and all the desert dwellers who have forgotten their true god will suffer retribution together. That would be a great god that would just murder everyone. If what I'm saying makes you shiver with fear, it might not be too late for you to become a believer of the Scarlet King. It really doesn't. <laughs> Can you tell us more about the Oracle? I don't have anything to say to you academia people about that. I think this conversation has reached its end. Maybe it would have been better to say Not I'm a just traveler yet. after all. This man is a fraud. Oh? Apparently we know this person's name already. Huh? Here's where we get our money back. <laughs> you again? T deranged academia lunatic. <laughs> yes, it's me again. <laughs> I already warned you that if you weren't willing to sit and discuss things oh, with me... Oh, he's in the background. I take measures to make things... Uncomfortable for you. I think he's in the background of the thing. Yo, you got a big earpiece. What are your eyes? That looks a bit out of the ordinary. Listen to me. That address sure. he gave you is fake. Or at least, you won't find a merchant waiting for you there. This group has been boasting all around that they can provide information on a certain item as a means of luring people into their territory. Okay. Once you show up, they keep up the act until they have hard evidence that you want to purchase said item. Then they use that to squeeze you for all the more of your worth. <laughs> hey! Shut it all, Haytham! What are you playing at trying to ruin our business like this, hmm? Business. I told you the other day, I wish to discuss my terms with your boss. <laughs> <laughs> the boss made it perfectly clear that he won't negotiate with you. Oh, then you will ruin your business. Yes, and in no uncertain terms. But that was then. It does not preclude him from changing his mind in the future. I'm warning you. Don't <laughs> push us, or this could get ugly. We don't usually get rough with people from the Academia because it just complicates things. For a lunatic like you, though, we might just have to make an exception. Right. If you're suggesting that we escalate this from a verbal exchange to a physical one, I accept. <laughs> After all, even the Archons used war to negotiate the ownership of Tavat. Ooh, that's pain. If, on the other hand, we can't agree on any means of negotiation at all. Then I'm afraid my next course of action will sting a little more than the mere falling through of a few business deals. Can I get my Mora back, please? I will jeopardize the Eremite's reputation, which I know you value above all else. Mm -hmm. 
I am quite confident that if I began to take such action, your boss would willingly approach me himself. However, I fear oh, that by then, that as well. some things will have happened that cannot be undone. Like death. <laughs> also, a word of advice. I suggest you tell your boss exactly what happened here today. Otherwise, he might blame you for not telling him in the future. <laughs> Can I have more now? What did you say? Consider this. Have I ever failed to follow through on my word in the past? How's he? How's the? What? Okay. This guy is really out of his mind. Okay, then. If you really have a death wish, let's meet a week from today. The pier in front of the Faros Lighthouse, four o'clock in the afternoon, sharp. <laughs> Don't expect us to hold back. Meet us in front of the little. <laughs> Not so fast. There First you go. You turn the 500,000 more to them. <laughs> there you go. He's got a little Sims logo. He's gonna get sliced. He didn't. He didn't give it back, did he? Please, I beg you, don't provoke them. We can't afford any trouble with this crowd. They haven't even paid for their food yet. We're, don't worry. We're gonna get the money back. Trust me. Ah, Mr. Iman. There appears to be fewer staff in the restaurant recently. This wouldn't happen to be because they're all busy spreading the word to the students, would it? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> someone who chooses to do business with a group like that really can't afford to get so flustered the instant someone confronts them about it. Consider the meal compensation for our silence. <laughs> I'd say you're getting an excellent deal. Fair. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? He, he did, okay. got us our mora back, but sent the Emirates running too! Sure, we have to see him as a badass, I get it. Plus, he seems to know a lot about what's going on around here. Let's catch up with him and ask some questions! He's gone. He is long gone. He went that way! After him! There's no way. Chief? Wait up! Oh! It's Al Haytham, right? Al Haytham. Hello. What do you want? Info. Thanks for your help back there. No need for thanks. My goal was to get to them, and you two gave me just the opportunity <laughs> I needed. We're even. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> oh, I advise you to keep your distance from them. Since they weren't able to make off with your mora in the end, they might harass you again in the future. No worry, I'm the honorary knight of Mondstadt. <sighs> All right. Goodbye. Hey, wait up. Hold your horses. We still have something to ask you about. Yeah, can you not see me glow in dendro colors? <sighs> Since you tore through their scam right in front of them, you must know the real story about a uh, um, certain something, no? Uh huh? Who exactly are you two? And why are you inquiring about that? I'm totally a student and you totally wouldn't know. A student? <laughs> <laughs> right. Look, you should know that those thugs conducting business <laughs> with you had nothing to do with your lie. <laughs> Bro, it was so obvious that he would know. Perhaps we can also talk terms. I know a thing or two about swordplay. Oh, yeah. She's really strong. Weren't you saying something about a physical exchange? We can help with that. <laughs> she doesn't even have a vision. Forget it. Y you want to fight right now? Maybe not, but she can still use elemental energy. Otherwise, there's no way we'd go asking for info from I'm... I'll... I... Uh, um, <laughs> from guys like that. Uh-huh. Those hot-headed thugs are definitely going to bring a lot of backup for your next meeting. Right. Even you don't go alone, you won't regret taking us with you. <laughs> it wasn't really that easy. Uh... <sighs> what? All right, I accept. Got a pen and paper? Sure. If you're searching for someone who sells that kind of merchandise, I'll give you one of their addresses, and you can try your luck. What? Okay. Go from us lying to him, cold shoulder, into him giving us all the info and becoming his fighting partner. We'll reconvene at the appointed time by the pier. It doesn't matter if you show up or not. <laughs> uh, so, since you were happy to give us this merchant's information, does that mean you can tell us exactly what we're after? You were willing to part with 500,000 mora for something and you didn't even know what it was? Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Well, if you truly are as skilled as you claim, then you can beat the answer out of them when they become hostile. <laughs> what the hell? Look. If you've been making inquiries, then you have to know something by now. Tell me what you know so far, so I don't waste time repeating information. Nice. I like that. We know it's connected to the academia somehow, and that not only do the Aramites deal in it, but some students want to get a hold of it too. What else? It seems like some kind of knowledge. You know almost everything there is to know, but you're unable to compile this information because you've never seen the object before. Right. This is what you've been looking for. <laughs> wow, great. Thanks, man. Glad you'll send me on my way to whatever. It do float. Huh? Iman can't tell 
that is? It looks like some kind of ornament. An old school light bulb. This is a knowledge capsule. <laughs> to put it simply, it's a vessel that can store a fixed quantity of canned knowledge. That's so stupid. It's like a miniature Akasha. Great. Anyone who links it to their personal Akasha terminal instantly becomes privy to its contents. Anyone? Correct. Anyone. Unlike the Akasha, which heavily regulates who can access what information. That's awful stuff. Knowledge capsules can further contents without any requisites. Great. That's amazing. Any info it's about the Dendro Archon? It's a convenient and harmless vestibule for knowledge. Unfortunately, it's illegal in Sumeru to privately possess or trade them. Right, let me guess who made that law. The Academia. They were created as a means for scholars to transfer knowledge gained from Ermansoul into the Akasha and are intended to be destroyed immediately after use. Of course. But despite strict regulations, some of these knowledge capsules will always escape destruction. Nice. After all, there will always be those in this world who are dissatisfied with life as designed for them by the Akasha. That's fair. And wish to change their fate. Of course. Over the past century, a wide variety of canned knowledge has been leaked from the academia. Now, in Port Ormos, the valuable ones are a means to Mora for the Aramites. Of course. Meanwhile, those which the Aramites deem to be useless to them occasionally prove useful to the common citizens and hapless academia students. Right, right, right. Well, I think that about sums it up. That's great. Thank you very much. I heard the academia lost something recently. Is it a knowledge capsule? Ah, oh, so that's your true objective. I just want to learn more about it. With our current arrangement, I don't believe I can offer an answer. Perhaps we can negotiate further. <sighs> You're still resolved. <laughs> Fine. Let's talk somewhere with fewer people. Let's go. Let's continue our conversation here. Okay. If you wish to learn more about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost, then you must help me with something. What is it? I need you to find someone named Dory, a traveling merchant. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. Unlike the peddlers who hawk inferior knowledge capsules, she often has quality goods in stock. Okay. Some say that as long as there is profit to be made, there is nothing she won't dare to sell. Sure. She's guarded against people from the academia because most of her wares don't comply with academia regulations. Makes sense. Black market. I think she blacklisted me. <laughs> I met with her informant, but it soon became clear that they had no intention of letting me get any further. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. Become one of Dory's customers and earn her trust. This is my condition for further collaboration. Sure. Do you have the funds? Why do you want us to meet with her? He's blacklisted. You just said it. Until you complete this task, you don't have question privileges. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, fine. So how do we go about doing this? You two are outlanders who haven't been here for long, so Dory should view you as safe clients. I'll give you the informant's address and their contact password. What will I tell them, like, how I got it, though? Beyond the password, though, I have no way of knowing what other tricks she might have up her sleeve. You'll have to improvise. How? Won't uh, they be sus if I know the thing? The password? No, that's fine. The true challenge begins after you meet her. She has a keen nose for Mora and a shrewd eye for wares. Okay. And she only likes customers who she deems to have good taste. That's gonna be rough. I'll prepare some funds for you. There Buy you go, he does have funds. Wares and earn her approval. Nice. What? We only just saw a knowledge capsule for the first time! We don't know how to tell which ones are good and which <laughs> ones are bad. Uh, is that something we can learn quickly? Hmm, that's true. Have you two heard of Elemental that. Sight? Of course, I can use it. Oh, that's a surprise. I guess I'll have to hold you in higher regard. Yeah, you better be careful, anyway, young man. that ability should resolve your issue. Uh-huh, great. Here are two knowledge capsules. Tell me, can you detect any difference in their quality? We're gonna see it. Do the check. Um, they look the use same the vision. I'm pressing it. Try inspecting them with Elemental Sight. One's sh glowing. It's gonna say How shiny. You go? Did you see anything? Yeah, the left one shines brighter. Rumor has it that higher quality knowledge capsules generally appear brighter when viewed through elemental sight. Cool. That's because knowledge originates from Ermansoul, the of root course. of Dendro power itself. The more powerful the knowledge, the richer it is in Dendro energy. I figured. However, some canned knowledge with a high concentration of elemental energy is of little use in contemporary times, so those capsules are of little value. Sure. Using elemental sight is merely a stopgap measure, but it should suffice for earning Dory's trust. All right, let's that go. That sounds pretty impressive. 
Here's a sheet with the informant's location and contact password. Thumbs up. And here is the Mora for purchasing canned knowledge. <laughs> awesome. Don't be cheap. You'll need to spend to catch Dory's eye. If there's any Mora left over, just keep it. Nice, we got one of those bargaining mini games again. Oh, and be sure to exercise some caution. There have been Matra present in Port Ormos lately. Matra? Your efforts will be for naught if they catch you. I don't know what Matra are again. Matra? Oh, there you go. <laughs> they belong to the Academia's regulatory body. Okay. They also handle cases of illegal canned uh. knowledge transactions. Like I said, the Academia has banned both their trade and possession. So we're gonna go to jail in this quest line again. The Matra are razor sharp. You're in for nothing good if they lock their sights onto you. Okay. If you two want to back out, now's the time. No, I'm willing to take the risk. I'll help you find Dory. Okay, then we have a deal. If you succeed in your dealings with Dory, come find me at the Wikala Funduk. Of course. We'll have an open discussion The Wikala Funduk. Open discussions Looking can be achieved. Dory's informant is a traitor near Old Ormos. Bagamora. Howdy. Hello. What are you two looking to buy? Some raw hara. Oh, fuck. I didn't read. Wait. Are you sure you're remembering no. that right? Uh, I forgot to read the paper. I doesn't think it was that on the paper. Some unripe hara fruits, please. <laughs> what a unique palette. We have unripe hara fruits, but we usually keep them in the back. I'll have someone escort you. Imagine I actually want unripe horror fruits, though. <laughs> Following the paper got us past the first round. Yep. Ronok, these two want to buy unripe horror fruits. Show them to the warehouse. Got it. You two, please follow me. <laughs> got it. <laughs> you two have a fascinating fashion sense. Thank you. We haven't seen a customer wearing a Sumeru rose for quite some time. It's actually an Intivat. Uh, hold on. Let me think. Oh. Sumeru rose means common merch. Oh, sure. Look again. We're obviously wearing morning flowers. Ah, my mistake. I do apologize. What is morning flowers? Whew. That pop quiz sure was scary. Wait. This can be interesting. Informant's code chart. Here we go. Rish Bolum Tiger. Matra. Mouse. Customer. Taken by my sold to customers. Taken by a tiger. Con confiscated. Okay. Pack in Sumeru city style. Purchase a small amount. Port Osmos, Partress in bulk. Complimenting a customer of skill corresponds to horror fruit that causes dizziness and ringing in the ears. Wearing a wearing a morning flower looking to buy con can knowledge. So that's what we're looking for. Wear a sumer rose looking to buy products legally available. No, yeah, no. We are not looking. Uh, the warehouse is up ahead. Please follow me. I've been following you. You're very slow. The, uh, what? The underappreciated carving? Exquisite camera. You're trolling me. What? <gasps> Tell I don't have to go any further, and I can just continue now. Yes. Before I retrieve your products, I need to Ooh, trust a few things. Okay. Uh, please forgive me, but we may not have sufficient stock for you today. Earlier, many of our para fruits were taken by mice. That's good. That's congratulations, because that the mice is customers. <laughs> Thanks. If better goods come in, you'll be the first to know. <laughs> I like this. Like have some skill. Why don't I pick out some fruits that'll make you dizzy? Uh, yeah, dizziness is great. Yep, that's the right answer. But eating horror fruit that makes your head and ears ring sounds like a bad life decision. <laughs> Would you like your horror fruit to be packaged cool. in the Sumeru City or Port Ormo stuff? Oh, we want bulk. We want bulk. Wow. Let's These two go. Sure are generous customers. We'll be sure. To I read the paper. I did the work. I did my homework. Full trust. Okay. Everything has been confirmed. Miss Dory is waiting for you up at. Shoot! It's the Matra! Run! Hey, that's not code name! What? The Matra? Where? Oh, hey, them said we're done for if they catch us! We gotta get out of here! <laughs> He's so quick! We're still standing here. Tell me it's like an we actual know escape. Area, thing. So let's follow that employment. Huh, there's literally no one. It'd be cool if someone actually ran after us. Flee. I love the word flee for some reason. I really like that. Maybe this is why I have to do this quest up here. <laughs> to the town hall or something? If you're hiding from the Rishbalan tiger, come this way. Another password. The Rishbalan tiger. I think that's the right term. Yeah, I'm coming. Here, over here. You can stop running now. <laughs> <laughs> you're Dory? You're so tiny, and you're Electro? Are you from Inazuma? 
No, no, no. So you were the one who was calling out to us just now. No. But, uh, are we definitely gonna be safe here? No. These two good customers wish to buy some horror fruit, Miss Dory. And if there's nothing else, Her eyes I'll are pretty cool, excuse though. myself. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, very good. Thank you. <laughs> Her design is definitely interesting. I'm not fond of it, but I like how original it is. Wait, you're Dory? Paimon sure thought you'd look a whole lot scarier. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to say, Princess Peabrain? <laughs> Whoa! I can be scary enough when I need to be, believe you me. <laughs> if you don't watch what you say, then you can forget about doing any business. I want her to be like insane burst damage. Like, press one button, deal 90k damage. But it seems you two have actually done pretty well so far. Not only did you manage to find the informant, mm -hmm. your reactions were also pretty sharp. Mm -hmm. You don't really look like criminals or anything, but I bet my Mora that you've been involved in some shady dealings, haven't you? You betcha. I'm just not sure if that's supposed to be a compliment, <laughs> but we'll take it. Yeah, we're, we're pretty shady. I can't risk doing business with people who start hopping and puffing after just a few paces. No matter how much oh, it was they fake. Have, not only will they get caught by the matra, but they'll also get us into trouble. Right. As decent folks trying to run an honest business. <laughs> we don't need any of that. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, definitely. So that's why I prefer to have customers like you. Sure, yeah, sure, sure, fair. It's your first time here, but don't worry. I won't ask too many questions. Even if you wish to buy enough knowledge capsules to decorate your house with, please knock yourself out. All right. As long as you have lots of round, shiny Mora, then we're all good. I only have the square variants. Can you show us your products? Ah, yes, of course, of course. Go ahead. Oh. Help yourselves. Voila. Wait, are you from Fontaine? Maybe. Est-ce que vous continuez en français? She's a troll of canned knowledge. Whew. She'd probably be in serious trouble if the Matra caught her with all this. There's the Matra. We're gonna see her flee, definitely. I feel like there's gonna be a cutscene. Maybe. Hopefully. Don't worry. I'm not interested in your reasons for buying. I can, however, offer some suggestions. Okay, let's take the suggestions and see if she's lying to us. Take this one, for example. An analysis of the sociological ideology and dialectics of the Hillary. Wow. Only three people in all of Tevat have ever studied it, <laughs> making it extremely rare. It's on sale now for 350,000 mora. Let me see. Wait, who would want to be an expert in that topic? Ella Musk. I was going to say we don't need it because we have Ella. Find an excellent, well-paying job in nearly any nation. Whoa. Ooh, now this sounds like it could be useful. No. Two million mora, and it's yours. No discounts. <laughs> I'd still haggle. That's a lot of Mora! Of course, you are free to pick whatever you're Oh, let me, desire. let me, come on, let me, let me have a look. The contents and price of each knowledge <laughs> let me have a look at these are indicated here. in small text on the body of each one, down at the bottom. Mm hmm All right, let's try the method that I'll hate. I know. Uh, leave me alone. Nyum. I like that. Okay, so, bottom, this one, and this one. I'll take this one. <laughs> and this one. As well as this one. Ah, you really got a good head on your shoulders. <laughs> I'm quite the eye of quality. Uh huh. You pick and choose your variety of canned knowledge. We'll take these. Please and thank you. I can't wait to haggle now. My oh my. You are blessed with the taste for both the exquisite and the extravagant. Customers like you are a rare breed. One in a hundred. No, one in a thousand even. Okay. Listen, I have a special offer for you two. If you spend just 100,000 more and more, you can pick any knowledge capsule of your choice up to a value of one million more. <coughs> Say what now? I am so confused. This is a scam. Hey, did you hear that? Spend another 100k and we get a Just she start calling it 100k too. Calm down, Paimon. Don't let her trick you to spend more. But all the canned knowledge we just bought is easily worth half a million mora. If we spend just a little more, we can get something worth one million mora. Paimon. Isn't that a fantastic deal? There's only garbage left on the thing. Think about it. We've gone to all this trouble to get this canned knowledge. And so far, everything we've bought belongs to all Haytham. Oh, you want to get one for us? Aren't 
Aren't you even the least bit curious about how this whole can knowledge thing works? Yeah. We're talking instant knowledge here. Don't you want to try it yourself? I don't need it. I think you're the one who's curious. You just want to see me try it. Come on, come on. We still have around a hundred thousand of our Hatham's more or less. Uh, so let's put it to good use. No. Finding something useful for you. Ahem. You got a deal, Dory. No. We'd like to spend an extra one hundred thousand more. On. No, we don't. Excellent. Mm. And then please select from this fine collection of canned knowledge over here. There's only trash anymore. Oh, never mind. There's more. Oh, Vision. Hold on a second. Could choose whatever we wanted. Why can't we choose the ones from over there? <laughs> and scammed. Oh, but my dear customer, the knowledge capsules over here are worth one million more each. I'm sure discerning customers like yourselves will be able to find something to your liking. Please take your time. Okay, uh, use vision. Paimon has a bad feeling about this. They're all garbage, Let's Paimon. Use elemental sight again to check these. Maybe we should just pass this time. Let's just say for our mental health. Hey, we're getting a capsule worth a million more <laughs> here. Don't be such a party cooper. You're so stupid. Well, anyway, the more has already been spent, so let's at least try to find something useful. Sure. Elemental sight it is. Let Paimon take a look here. An introduction to traditional Sumeru brewing techniques. No. The art of growing spices. Yeah. An overview of ancient runes. No. Oh, how about this one? Sword fighting techniques eight. I like the spices. Not sure we'd ever find volumes one through seven, but at least this knowledge should be useful, right? <sighs> Let's go with this one. Whatever makes Paimon happy. Be sure to check back again soon. Whether it's canned knowledge or anything else you need, bring your Mora to Dory and doors will open. How <laughs> do you even get the haggle? Hey, I got the achievement. And I got the canned knowledge short fighting techniques. That's so cool, actually. It's a legendary. Oh, you know what? That's okay. That's not as bad. I'm kind of happy with it being one of those artifacts. That's cool. Although I didn't get the haggle, and now do I have any more left, actually? I'm dead. Goodbye. Where's the. No, I literally have nothing left. Crying. I only have this child more left. Howdy. You two made it. Of course. And from the looks on your faces, you were successful. Paimon made me spend the last 100k. Wow, there's so many people from the academia here. Why would you pick this place as our meetup spot? He's from the academia. Well, Wakela Funduk is under the academia's control, so naturally the academia has people working here. I came to Port Ormos under the pretense of conducting official business. Of course, very vague. You're a pretty daring guy. Relax. No one here is interested in anything we say, and the Macher won't come here. Great. Okay, now, tell me how your encounter with Dory went. Five hearts. You bring Altheim <coughs> up to date and give him the can't knowledge you okay, got. Okay, we did what you asked. So, can you tell us about the knowledge capsule that the Academia lost now? Before that, I have to ask, why are you two so intent on tracking it down? You don't have to answer. It's not course. a secret. We want to meet with the Dendro Archon. Yeah, she did. Meet the God of Wisdom and ask her about something important. We've been in Sumeru for a while now, <laughs> but we still haven't found a way. Yeah, five whole hours. When we heard that the Academia had lost something that might be related to the gods, we came here in case it turned out to be our lucky break. Uh huh. In that case, you're on the right track. Oh, what are the odds? This guy gives me kind of like Dainsliff Kaya vibes. What are the odds they're all related? You know, they all know each other. A short while ago. The Academia lost a knowledge capsule in the desert. Okay. It's supposedly a divine knowledge capsule. Hey. Use it, and you'll gain the wisdom of the gods. Give me that. Wow. There's really such a thing as that? Hey, if we find it, do you think we could learn how to meet the Dendro Archon? Mm hmm Ooh, or even how to find your brother? Don't know about that one. I highly doubt it has any mystical properties, but it does indeed exist. And it's right here, in Port Ormos. Come on, let's get to it, let's get to it. So, where exactly? In Dory's hands, in my hands. It was the capsule I showed you. That's what we need to find out next. Oh. Your goal is to find it too? I won't deny that. I am investigating because I'm curious as to what the Divine Knowledge Capsule truly is. Sure. As you know, the Aramites in Port Ormos also have their eyes on it. It is an extremely precious item. Yeah. The knowledge contained within may bring great power or wealth to whoever has it in their possession. Sure. Several brigades have been vying for ownership of it as of late. 
but there is still no victor. I see. My personal finances and connections cannot compete with those of the Aramites. After attempting various methods, I finally managed to reach a tentative agreement with several brigades. All right. I agreed to forego ownership of the Divine Knowledge Capsule in exchange for the opportunity to study it. After all, there's no harm in understanding what it is. Sure. How does it work? Like, once you suck up the knowledge, is it is it empty? Or can, like, a million people use the same thing? However, there are those who are less amenable to negotiation, such as those from Ayn al-Akhmar. Sure. They adamantly believe that the Divine Knowledge Capsule contains the Scarlet King's power, and that he <laughs> will return to this world when they obtain it. Okay. They refuse to let anyone from the Academia tarnish their deity's soul. Sure. So you kept hounding them because they refused to cooperate with you? Yes. Yes. Ayn al-Akhmar isn't exactly wealthy, but its members are determined to get that capsule by any means necessary. Right. To that end, they've resorted to many methods more foul than fair in order to amass sufficient funds. Such as my half a milli. Any millis in the chat? So, I've been sabotaging their business to force them into negotiating with me. Smart. The Divine Knowledge Capsule should be up for a secret auction within the next few days. Alright. Each brigade will place their own bid, and the prize will be covertly given to the winner. That's how that works. <laughs> to ensure the capsule security and to evade the Matra's notice, the winning brigade will not publicly disclose their victory. Of course. Dory is the most reliable source of information, but that avenue was previously closed to me. With you on board now, the situation is different. Right. In other words, you wanted us to befriend Dory so you could find out where the Divine Knowledge Capsule is. Yes, you can say that. Translator bot. But this arrangement harms none of us. The day after tomorrow, go back to Dory and try to purchase information on the Divine Knowledge Capsule's whereabouts. If she has no information, wait two days and approach her again. Sounds if I get amazing the opportunity content. to study the Divine Knowledge Capsule, I will relay my findings to you. Will that suffice as compensation? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Okay, then we'll meet up in two days. Goodbye. With his money. To use it. Great, great, great idea to tell him. <laughs> you two want to try using a knowledge capsule? Uh huh. Sure, I can teach you. Okay. Doing so right under the. Is this gonna be C1? Nose is a bit problematic, though. What do you say we head to the outskirts of town? Okay. Here we are. All right. This place works. Show me the capsule you purchased. Here. Sword Art Seven. Hmm. Sword fighting eight. techniques eight. Huh. A combat class knowledge capsule. This class is something of a rare find these days. Really now? Since most have been taken by the Aramites to augment their battle capabilities. Well, here I go. I still can't tell what his weapon is, by the way. Really? Ah, oh, yeah, what a great buy! If you want to determine the efficacy of this capsule, I can evaluate your combat ability. However, effects will likely be minimal if you already possess a high amount of strength. Man, it's useless is what he's saying. We can conduct a controlled experiment where you fight two battles. Sure. One before using this knowledge capsule, uh -huh. and one after. Okay, and I can see what fight, weapon you are. We can use an Akasha terminal to monitor your various physical parameters. Sure, sounds absolutely nuts in this medieval time, but okay. There may be variances in your physical strength between the two tests, as well as a disparity in your opponent's abilities. But don't worry, I'll run statistical analyses afterward to mitigate any confounding effects. Okay. You must have been one of those guys at the academia <laughs> who got top grades on everything. He says, I failed. Um, Paimon's curious about something, though. You definitely weren't one of those students who needed pan knowledge to graduate from the academia, right? So, why are you risking getting caught by the mantra for this capsule? All right, let's begin the test. <laughs> Just fight as you normally do. Okay, I press Y on E. Man, I'm fighting these things. Busted. There's no, there's like, it's gonna overbuff me. I'm gonna deal 100,000 damage, and then it's gonna stop right. working. I'll link your Akasha terminal to record data. Okay. The next step is to use this knowledge capsule. Sure. Hold it in your hand. I'll help you establish a connection with it so you can activate its power. So it's Bluetooth. Uh, activated can knowledge. Open your inventory and use the can knowledge. Man, it's gone already. I, I liked having another five star in the inventory. As I saw countless swords wielding figures fighting one moment, and then in the next, they disappeared into the recesses of my memory. Looks pretty cool. Hey, how are you feeling? 
and really smart and good at sword fighting. I felt something for a moment. Whatever was inside the knowledge capsule became a part of my memory. That is weird. Yeah, I mean, I guess. All right, time for round two. Fight with the same composure as before. I can't help but think he's a Sims fan. The House of Can Time. Wow, no difference. What's? Oh, there's so many. Okay, okay, come here. This has to do a million damage. Come here, come on, quick. Wow, so good. Damn, Dendro is so good, actually. Hype. <laughs> it's the only reaction we've done so far is hype now, or Dendro. I'll start recording data again. Nothing changed, man. I thought it'd give me like a constellation. Oh, hey, Thumb. How's it going? Well, the knowledge capsule you purchased did improve her combat capability. Okay. During the second <laughs> fight, her overall fighting performance <laughs> increased by 0.073 percent. Whoa, 73. Nice. It's the RuneScape meme. Wait, how much? Yeah, it's not a lot. I told you, I'm super mega queen of fighting. <laughs> No, he said, if, if I couldn't do anything, it would have improved my capabilities by like 300%, but since we're a master fighter already... Of course, this could be because she is so powerful that the yeah. capsule's contents were unable to produce a substantial increase. There you go. At the very least, this test allowed me to gain more insight into you two. Our deal seems increasingly worth my investment. <laughs> I'm heading back to Wakela Funduk. I await your response in two days' time. Okay. This is more of for when you ask Dory for information. Pay her as much as she requests. Fine. That's a hint. We can't haggle. Let's go. Two days from now. Let's see Dory today and ask right. her about where Let's the go. divine knowledge capsule is. What? This burst looks like, I don't know, Wario's nose. Hey, Dory. What's up, champ? Here, over here. Oh, welcome back, my loyal patrons. What can I do for you this time? We'd like to buy some info. You name it. Can knowledge, supplies, or anything else you need. I'll find a way to get it. Where there's a waterfall of Mora, there's a way. Right. So it appears the canned knowledge alone is no longer sufficient for your opulent appetite. Mm hmm Then please oblige me. Tell me what you have in mind. I'd like to buy info on the whereabouts of the Divine Knowledge Capsule. Oh! <laughs> Our new customers with pockets as deep as yours would undoubtedly crave something more profound than ordinary can knowledge. Mm -hmm. But you know, that kind of information isn't going to be cheap. Sure. After all, I had to work really hard to weasel my way into the auction site. Okay. And not to mention that if anyone found out that I was the leaker, I would be in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. And I don't want to be in big, big trouble. <laughs> but how your information is accurate. I'm just curious how you just happen to have this kind of info the moment we need it. Right. <laughs> because to me, anything of value is what I consider to be my supply. Sure. Therefore, I must always be aware of what's hot on the market in order to secure more sales. Good mindset. As for the information's authenticity, well. You've no need to worry about that. Oh. I used a camera to take a picture of the transaction. That way, no one can dispute it. Name your price. I'll buy the info. It's always a pleasure doing business with such sterling patrons. Uh-huh. <clears throat> now that you've paid in full, here's I have. the scoop. The Divine Knowledge Capsule was purchased yesterday by a certain misery. Oh, the no. leader of Ayn el Ahmar. How? Ayn el Ahmar? You mean the yes. airline to worship Translation the Scarlet bot. King? Ah, so you're already familiar with them. Yes. The group has done everything in their power to obtain the Divine Knowledge Capsule. After all, they believe it contains the power of the Scarlet King. They do, they're nuts. That Divine Knowledge Capsule is unlike any other canned knowledge I've seen before. It was glowing bright red. Sounds fake. The capsule is clearly visible in the picture I took. You can look for yourself. Sure. Thanks for the info, Dory. No, not Please. thanks. I paid for it's it. It's my pleasure. It's all thanks to discerning customers such as yourselves that my efforts yesterday were not in vain. Open door. Open door. Well, we figured out where the divine. And remember to bring a token of our friendship the next time we meet. Okay? What's that money? I love yeah. to think. Kind of skipped Paimon there on accident. Let's head back and talk to Alhatham. All right, yeehaw! Yeah. Oi! Alhatham, we got the info you wanted. We sure did. Really? All right. Let's hear it. It's in the hands of Ayn Al Ahmad, the group we're about to face. Dory even gave us evidence to verify the intel. Have a look. 
Huh, look at that. Clear as day. It must have taken some guts just to infiltrate the scene of the Aramite's transaction. Sure. But then, to get close enough to take a picture like this. <laughs> bold move, Dory. Very bold move. Really? Is it, are you being sus? You think she's in? All right. The person in this picture is indeed Misery, okay. the leader of Ain al Ahmar, and the glowing red cat. Okay. In which case, if we play our cards right, when we confront them next week, we should be able to force them to show their hand. Sure. At first, Paimon didn't get why you were provoking these Ain al Ahmar guys. But now, it sort of makes sense. Everything's playing right into your hands. Mm hmm. After we defeat them, we can finally have a serious talk with their boss and get them to lend us the divine knowledge capsule. Lend? Thank you for your time and efforts. Take a few days off while I make some preparations. Okay. Let's meet up again on the afternoon of the arranged date. Sure. Three o'clock sharp. We'll be there. See you then. See ya. He's got a whole headset, you know, actually. Probably listening to some music. A few days later, on the day of the meeting with Ali Dari Ahmad. Oh, hey, I'm sure he's taking we just stood time. Here. Where could he be? Oh. Oh, there he is. We legit haven't moved in two days. Sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head to the pier in front of Faro's lighthouse. All right. Yep, let's go. Says three o'clock sharp. It's four. <laughs> Never trusting this guy ever again. Hey, gang. I'll hate them. I knew you were crazy, but I didn't know you were crazy enough to actually show up. <laughs> It was I who it demanded so that dumb. these negotiations take place. I was more worried that you might go back on your promise. But to your credit, it appears that you're sticking to your word. Right. This is With turning into men. quite an occasion. I also brought some backup. I assume you don't mind. <laughs> backup? Aren't you the brat from the restaurant the other day? Come to support this lunatic because he helped you out? <laughs> Fine. Your funeral. The baby will be doing the fighting for us. <laughs> I'm not going to mince my words. Once we're done with you, you'll be nothing more than fish food. Get him, boys! <laughs> He's gonna slice them in one. Uh-oh, here they come. Uh, good luck, you two. Thanks. Thanks, baby floating. Things are about to get dicey. Things are about to get mad dicey out here. El Ahmad. Busted. He died. He died quicker than everyone else. Cutscene! <coughs> Nerds, finally a cutscene, man. Boss, finally. Boss, he sucked Did up he the capsule. It? Great, now he's we become can... a zombie. Uh -huh. <laughs> what the? Uh -huh. Hello. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What's happening? Oh, he's dead. Yeah. Bam. Bomb. Boom. He's enraged. Look at his ear. It's red. We have to cut his Akasha connection. Now. How? Ooh, epic fight scene. So he is a sword? How do he, do he doesn't even have a weapon still. We still don't know anything. He punched him. Target acquired. Arrest him. Target acquired, warlock. <laughs> this man is just running in his robe. Do not impede our work. Is that understood, all hate them? Of course. I was Throw him in the water. Help. Take him away. <laughs> he took it, what a ledge. <laughs> yes. I want to know what weapon he uses, though. Oh, that was easy. Kind of lazy that he's just... World. Oh. Forget me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God, it might actually be true. World forget me again. It's like that big guy suddenly lost his mind. He did. It looks like he used the divine knowledge capsule. Oh, he did. You mean the divine knowledge capsule did Oh that my god, it? yes, that's what he means, Paimon. Speaking of which, hey Paige, did mention. Oh yeah. 
You mean how some researchers go insane after getting knowledge from Ermansoul? Right. I've heard of numerous incidents. Maybe he like tries to possess the people. I think that's what insane. happens, actually. The state that man is now in suggests that this is a similar situation. It's very interesting, but what's weird is that we saw the tree say those words as well. I don't know. This divine knowledge capsule does appear to be linked to the gods, but beyond that, it doesn't seem anything like the rumors suggest. Possessing it doesn't grant you divine wisdom or power. No. Did you hear what he said? World, forget me. What could that possibly mean? I've heard it a few times today. Exactly what I heard before. If the mantra took him away, then that means the academia got the divine knowledge capsule back No, they too. didn't. What a shame. Yeah, we, we got a so smart close. boy with us. Don't worry. Still, Paimon didn't expect the divine knowledge capsule would be so dangerous. Imagine if we tried to open it. Who knows what would have happened to us? End of the world. The world couldn't take an evil honorary knight of Mondstadt. As things stand, there is no reason for me to remain Boy. in Fort Ormos. I believe our collaboration has also reached its end. Where are you gonna hide this from me? I saw you. Someone else gonna save me. Dory? Oh, we were so busy trying to find the divine knowledge capsule that I might forget to ask you something. <laughs> he Since just knows. Since member of the academia, do you have any idea how we could go about meeting Lesser Lord Kusanali? Truthfully, I don't. Lesser Lord Kusanali appears to exist outside of Sumeru's entire administration. Most of the time, you wouldn't know she exists at all. Okay. Moreover, since the Academia possesses the Akasha, a symbol of our deity's wisdom, scholars have no reason to desire to make contact with the deity herself anyway. Sure. Uh, everything about Lesser Lord Kusanali is such a mystery! I'm heading back to the Academia. How about you two? I don't know, I don't really want to talk to you anymore since you're lying to me. There has to be a reason for him hiding it from us. Uh, it's almost the day of the sub festival! I knew it. Maybe we should head back to I you. knew this was we how it was going to end. our feet over the past few days, so maybe a little rest and relaxation will do us good. This is a really good, like, teasing point, like a cliffhanger for next part, though. Can't wait to edit this seven-hour video. Let's return to Sumeru City. You got a point. Then we'll part ways here, I'll hate them. Until we meet again. Bye-bye. Sus boy. Hmm. Now, do I deal with this thing first? Or should I produce the report that the higher ups require? Who are you? <laughs> who who is this guy? Is he actually is he a Fatui or some? We're walking straight into a wall, by the way. Through mist of smoke and forests dark, Act 3 complete. Achievement get. Um, hey, thanks for watching this part. <laughs> I, I've kind of forgot while recording that it was the end of an act, so uh, my reactions to this are at the end of next episode where I do a recap of literally everything that happens in both stories. So yeah, that'll be out as soon as possible, but it's a lot of editing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed. I really enjoyed this whole quest, I'll be honest, it was really good. Welcome to Sumeru. Alright, take care. Bye bye.